But yeah, let's jump on in. Oh, Albert Groves. We did the job interview. Oh. What is he killing over? What? Shouldn't have eaten that swap sandwich. We did the job interview for the Transit Authority, which went well. And then we started doing some training. And it seemed like a good time. Am I going for food? Oh, yeah. Om nom nom. Which of these open again? So today, hoping to do some more transit authority training, like tag, tagging along on, um, like, uh, on the trains, or the carriages, or maybe even some boats, whatever they need, whatever they need, and keep learning from the, the senior officers, we should be good. Is that Woody? Oh, when I do my command to hide my overlay, I crouch. I didn't think of that. I was playing Helldivers 2 with Peach Car earlier. It's good again. Yeah, I was playing some with, um, um, Late Night Liam and some other peeps the other night, and it actually felt really good to be playing Helldivers again. It felt, it felt good. Uh, I, I enjoyed the, the jungle planet. Um, but we were only doing like difficulty four or five or something. So it was very manageable, but that actually, it felt good. It was fun. So I'm hoping to play a bit more because I'm really wanting to seek more time into the Helldivers 2, uh, the Space Marine 2 operations, but there, there's currently some connection issues, like joining on friends and this and that. So, uh, a little bit of a... Space Marine 2 break while they fix their crossplay and whatnot. Revisit Helldivers 2. Finish all those, um, uh, you know, little, what, what do you call them? Little DLC packs? We get little battle, battle bonds. I don't know what you call them. I gotta finish with some of those. The War Bonds, yeah, I've got a couple of those I never finished, so... Gotta get, gotta get my money's worth. Good day! Join any group? Um... Good morning, Mrs. Phenom. You bet I got the, the war bond um, that allows you to make your your pod and mechs and stuff orange. You bet I bought that straight away. <laughs> Is everything all right, miss? Is everything all right? Well, could be better. It's kind of an asshole. Yeah, what was that all about? Well, uh, dinner was cold last night. Sorry? Dinner was cold last night. Oh, well, was was dinner hot at the right time that a, a certain person was late? He was, yes. Oh, but not willing to admit that, I imagine. Uh, no, not at all. He's just fucking hiding. Well, that's a damn shame. Like, anyone that knows that beans on toast is going to be ready at seven needs to be there at seven. Yeah, I think I think he was with his mistress. What? You, mistress? Are you his... I, I don't mean to intrude or anything, but are you his wife? No. 
Just a, a, a family member, a friend? Friend. He, he just hits me. Well, well, look, I I don't really know how things work here, but I would, if, if you haven't, re, you know, resided in some close friends, I would, I would put in a report to local law enforcement sooner rather than later, this. I appreciate it. What's your name? Albert Groves. All right. It was nice to meet you. Likewise. What, what was your name, Miss? Me on the street. Um, Ripley Moser. Ripley Moser. Well, Miss, I I really ho do hope things get better. I, I do apologize for in intruding, but yes, I would just I would begin confiding with friends and alerting the authorities sooner rather than later. I just I've heard some shocking stories, it. and it's 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 not on. You're a very extravagant man. Um, what type of work do you do? Oh, I've just started doing training with the Transit Authority. I'm, I'm fresh off the boat from London. Well, uh, my name's, as I said, Ripley. I run the Rhodes General Store, and my employee runs the St. Denis General Store. My husband runs the St. Denis Theater. Um, and I'm also going to be starting up a fashion business. So, paying money to witness models and state-of-the-art uh, clothing. Oh, good. Well, I do. Back in London, we were all very proud of our suits. Oh, yeah, it looks nice. I like it. Thank you. Just, you know, got to look respectable, going to work every day, you know, being a being a British gentleman and all. But uh, you said your, your husband runs the theatre here? Mm-hmm. Well, it wasn't that long ago. I was fresh off, when I was really fresh off the boat, um, I was recommended to uh, uh, attend some open auditions at the theatre recently, which I which I missed. Would you happen to know of any other auditions happening soon? Um, so he is... He's been working a lot lately, but we can run an audition for you if I can get your telegram and then I can set one up with you. Sure! Uh, my name... My, I've actually finally remembered mine. It's VM808. VM. I believe someone worded in a funny way like very much 808. Yep, everybody kind of finds words to go with theirs so you don't have to deal with the B, M, D, M? Was that, yeah, was that a B, a V, a D, yeah. a Z? See, mine is C, H, so I'm Copperhead. Wait, what was that? Mine is C, H, so I'm Copperhead. Copperhead, that's easy to remember. Mm hmm, snake and the hair. Oh, yes. Well, I just, but I've never. Just let him know that I've never done any acting. That's all right. Most people have it. I just, I just think uh, the fellow I met up at the Emerald Ranch, he just you know, thought my voice was a bit unique. Um, you have the, you have the ability for it. I can tell. Well, I'd be willing to give it a go. You know, I, I, my main dream is to, is to be working on the trains. But you know, I, sometimes you, when you're yeah, looking for what. Both, yeah. You, you look for we what you want, you find what you need, you know role. what I mean? Yeah, uh, we have a deputy as our main actor. Oh, really? Which one? Romeo. Oh! Oh, I met, um... Oh, I met the, the, the lovely actress playing Juliet recently. Um, oh, yeah, I don't know her. She's, um... They are a different production company, but they also run in the theater. They're good friends with us. Um, but I have not actually met that actress yet. Oh, she is absolutely lovely. I detected a bit of a, I imagine, a, a hint of a French accent. And she, her hair, she had just done her hair, was looking smashing. Lovely. Um, it was nice to meet you. I have to get headed out, but I'm definitely going to send you a telegram. I appreciate that, miss. And uh, all the best with that, that other nonsense. And uh, looking forward to hearing from you. And what's your full name again? Albert Groves. All right, perfect. Thank you. You're welcome, miss. I have a lovely day. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Bloody hell. There's good sir. Jesus Christ. Oh, he's my friend, but he just beats me. What? That's not all right. I think it was probably just a missed click of the muscle, but you know, role played out. Your event today, wasn't that today with the, the cut house? Yeah, yeah, 
the 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 get out of it went really great. Yeah, it was lovely. Uh, why does my heart good? I had just narrowly missed it. I only just so trying to get in here. <laughs> Apologies, Please, sir. sir, I'm in your way. That's quite all right. We said apologies. We're in your way. Yeah. Please, That's it's all right. Thank you very much. Oh, she seemed to enjoy Absolutely. Herself. Oh, lovely. I know she's been down in the dumps with Elvis lately, so it's good that she's having fun. Oh, um, she had a little more than just fun. Oh? Oh, yeah. Oh, what hour do you mean? Um, let us leave it at No, no, you can't leave me at this. It's like dangling yeah. a piece of cheese in front of um, a rat. Yeah, spread the filth. <laughs> Let's hear it. Um, did she have hinky panky with other fellows? <laughs> no, no, um. No. Is, she putting, is she putting a sock in a drawer? What are you trying to tell her, really? Um. <laughs> Yeah, really had a, a little bit of fun with me. With you? Oh, oh my God, she's Lily. Put it that way, Lily. <laughs> I I do apologize for butting in, and this <laughs> doesn't. I don't mean to sense. be partaking in any wordplay, but has anyone seen a train come through recently? I'm afraid um, not, good sir. Oh, oh, no, no drats. That's all right. Thank you very much. So no you have a lovely day. Uh, okay, so, uh, I believe I saw, so I can see that on duty, um, uh, Bobby from yesterday is around, uh, doing transit stuff, um, what they're doing, I'm not entirely sure. Last I saw, about six hours ago, there was a passenger train. Oh, I should check the the train schedule. Duh, I'll check that first. This weather is nothing, it's just like a home. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, no, the train, the train board is in here, I think. Well, there we go, that's nice, um, a happy little accident. Leading to an another, um, another lead to auditioning for the theatre! So that's a happy little accident. That's nice. No trains running. So I'm not sure what Bobby is doing. Um, and then the... Let me just double check that message I received. Um, I think... I think whenever I'm around, I go... I go into a voice channel just so they can see me. And then I also, um... I think I leave a message with the transit tip line. Just to be like, yo, I'm, I'm free for the next couple of hours. Uh, when you're around, please send a telegram to the, with your availability for the interview. You can also call on Zoom channel. Please connect to the voice channel whenever you're available for training, as well as send a tip. Yeah, okay. Yeah, send a, send a tip. All right. Um, let's send a telegram. I'd love to see if you can get an umbrellas, Mrs. Yeah, Phenom. Good morning, Gazozo. Yeah. Come on, come on. Let's, come on, let's go and have a look. I might have something of yeah, let's, interest. Um, okay. Right, sure. right, a second and we'll... Be safe, darlings. Wait, 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 wait. That woman is the one that's...
Sweet. All right. The transit tip line has been alerted. So I've done everything I can. So now it's just a matter of keeping eyes and ears open. Um, and hopefully we can uh, tag along for... Um, tag along for some training. Might stop by the bank. I haven't deposited money in a hot minute. But hello, Gazozo. Good morning. How goes it? Morning, partner. Do 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 do. And we might, because of all the training Albert did yesterday, we might be able to. Um, we might fit in. We'll go get a bath. <laughs> we'll go get a bath at the uh, Valentine <laughs> house because that was very funny. So following up on that would be, would be humorous. I hope there's some training available, or else I'll just have to do um, I'll just have to do some farm chores or something. But I want to keep learning. Yo, double dipped. Whom's this Albert, and what has he done with George? So this is Albert Groves. He's one of the ideas I've had for a, um, <clears throat> a like a, a side character. Um, he's heavily inspired by uh, Matt Berry, who you, you may recall from um, um, shows like The IT Crowd, Snuffbox, Garth Marenghi's Dark Place. Um, heavily inspired by that. And he's also, he's also a, a big, um, influence on me and what little voiceovers and voice acting I do. Um, so heavily inspired by that. He's from London. Uh, he's a love for, he's always wanted to work in trains. Um, he's just, he's just a silly British gentleman, essentially. So I put on a, you know, put on a very over the top, yeah, you know, hello, old chap, you know, silly voice for that. Um, and basically I'm using him as a way to just see, uh, how I feel playing on the, um, Wild RP server, just to try something new, see if it fits me better. Um, I didn't want to, I didn't want to jump into a new server and go ham with like a lore character or something heavy like that. I thought, let's just go in with a, a funny character that, uh, just wants to work on the trains and ca casual stuff like that. So, um, yeah. Um, that's the, that's the long and short of it. Yes, he's always smoking his pipe now and we've been shown where we can uh, pick all the tobacco leaves we want in the world. And I picked uh, so many. I picked so many, so I'm actually overusing the pipe just to get the numbers down. <laughs> but Albert hasn't done anything with George. But but uh, the way George is anti-beans, Albert Groves, being British, is pro-beans. <laughs> Hello, governor. Diablo Law needs George to tidy them up. What the? What's happened to Diablo Law? What happened, Gazozo? You know you're in. You know the law's in trouble if it needs George Hughes to tidy them up. What the fuck? Very interested in seeing where you go with Albert. Appreciate that double dipped. Uh, we just had the job interview and the first training session for the Transit Authority yesterday, which is going to lead to doing stuff with uh, carriage routes, trains, boats, a whole bunch of stuff like that. Um, all the people that we met so far have been really cool. Um, and he's just going to be a character where, yeah, I just want to, you know, do stuff with trains and such. And then if I'm still enjoying the server after PAX and South by Southwest Sydney next month, I may make a, a, a character to become a uh, law or a park ranger. In this one, in this, they've got park rangers, which is, uh, they look, they go out into the wild, like they go... Um, look for people that have gotten lost in the forest, animal attacks, um, 
they work with lore and everything. Like it's it's really cool. So uh, we'll see. But we'll see how I'm feeling about this time next month. Um, and then with that character, I don't know if I'll make like the wild RP version of George Hughes or if I'll make someone new. I don't know yet. I have no idea. No idea. Just taking it as it comes. Oh yeah, very early on, because I remember always running into this one guy in particular that was a yeah park ranger or or, or whatever, and they just never had anything to do, <laughs> which was a shame. It's a really cool idea, but what I've heard of it you know, of the park rangers doing this one sounds actually really cool. Like they actually encourage people that have animal attacks and get lost in the in the in the wild to to give the authorities like an hour or more just to because they actually like the law department will meet with the park rangers and they'll come up with a plan they'll set up a search and rescue party they'll go out find them bring them back like it becomes a whole operation which sounds really cool that was a long time battle tanker that was a long time ago it was a very long time ago The ant yes, lots of wolf attacks and bear attacks, and George Hughes would know. Hello, sir. A gator has me in its mouth. Send help, please. Thanks. <laughs> hey, Squid. I love when park rangers join all of their mechs together into one huge mech to take on massive energy. <laughs> they form Voltron. They form their version of Voltron. Absolutely right. Oh, I set, I set that up ages ago, double dip. Because I just, sometimes, it like, when people will just write, hello, it just, it just looks really blunt. It's like, I can just always imagine them saying, like, hello. <laughs> so I set up Nightbot to, whenever someone says hello, it just says, hello. <laughs> it, just, it just makes me laugh. It just seems so blunt. Hello. So dumb. <laughs> Parktron. Redemptron. <laughs> look at that. I've already got... So this... Look at all the t tobacco I've got. I've got so much fucking tobacco, man. I need to smoke it all. Or maybe find somewhere to sell it. Or what? Why can't I... Can I not put that in the... Do 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 ba 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 Oh I need to fill up my water. Can I not put my jewels in the jewel bag? Oh. Aha uh -huh. I feel like I'm using the uh Haradric cube. In uh, Diablo 2. Like, oh, a little bit of extra space. Excellent. Um, well, let's check the uh, the telegrams again real quick. And I also need to pop down to the general store. I need to see if there's anything, any other essentials to buy. Because um, Senior Officer Flood mentioned some things I should have with me when I when I'm working so we need to we need to make sure I'm well fully equipped the stuff I need <laughs> good evening teller yes the usual more tobacco <laughs> Albert's gonna catch a mean case of the black line if he's got to smoke it all <laughs> like, if I don't smoke it the bank's going to throw it away <laughs> they're going to Discard all my tobacco. We can't have that. <laughs> we can't waste the tobacco. <laughs> They're going to throw it out. <laughs> 
So you see, I had to smoke obscene amounts in just a few hours. <laughs> that reminds me, like, you know, if anyone remembers, I would have George Hughes smoke cigarettes a lot. Um, and I would start to uh, make him cough a lot more. I did have an idea. I was considering having him die of lung cancer this year. Um, if I didn't take the break, there was a very good chance I was just going to have him. He was just going to die of lung cancer like he like there would be one day where he just got so sick and then he would be like bedridden and just struggling around for like a week and then he would just die that that was an idea i had i was like maybe i just kill off george <laughs> there's you want it poor george poor george <laughs> Arthur dies of TB. Albert dies from cancer of throat and mouth type. Very Western times. Room. Right? Very. Very. <laughs> Just show up to a meeting all your hair's out. Like, yeah, it would have gotten, like, it would have been a... There would have been some comedy, but it would have also provided um, some very serious um, sad RP. And then also... You know, because... And then it's, of course, would hit home for a lot of people, so it adds that... It's got that weight to it. Smoking's bad, okay? Cancer's bad, okay? Um, but yeah, I was considering that. Because cause I was thinking that, like, when did they... When abouts did they start to figure out that... Was not really a good thing? Like, that would have been... What that mean, like the 50s or 60s or something? So it would have provided some good roleplay in the sense that some people would have been like, but why has he gotten sick? He's been smoking all these healthy cigarettes. What what could it be? It wouldn't be couldn't be the cigarettes. That's his superpower. He goes around advocating for being smoke-free, but can't stop smoking himself. You don't want to be like me, kids. Albert is saving us from the cancers. How nice. What a what a guy. Doc yeah, that's probably what would have happened, Squid. Doctors prescribing more cigarettes. Because, yeah, they used to advertise it as a benefit for your health. And it's like a hip thing to do and such. Like, wild. Absolutely wild. Um, I'm just seeing if there's any... Oh no, the senior officer is no, lo no longer on, um, it's no longer on duty. Well, in that case, let's head up to, um, hopefully we don't miss them. Let's head up to Valentine and see if the bathhouse, excuse me, let's see if the ba bathhouse uh, staff are there. And we'll follow up on that. <laughs> we'll follow up on that bath. So that Albert is all uh, clean and tidy for today's work. After a hard... After all the work he did yesterday. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, squid. All the way through to the 60s. That was considered fine. So, uh, you know, like 1900, they would have been like, What's wrong? With, like, what's he gotten sick with? What could it be? So, it... I thought that angle would be interesting. But of course the the need to have a break came first. So we did not get um we did not get George Hughes dying of lung cancer story arc. <laughs> but I was planting the seeds cuz I was you know like <laughs> I was planting the seeds. And thus, DVD's clown was born. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
1950. There you go. Bloody hell. They're like, oh God. Oh no. Oh no. What have we done? Oh my God. What have I done? George lives another day, another server. <laughs> this report has me so stressed out. I need a smoke. <laughs> Feels so good. <laughs> But yeah, for anyone that missed it yesterday, we met, um, we met some of the master bathers at the Valentine bathhouse. <laughs> it's like you can get a, a service. It's like $200 and you get a private bath. And they, and they help you. And they, like, they provide all these services. I think you get food and drink. It's like... Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not even making it up. Double dipped. Literally, this. They, she's like, I'm. A, what was her voice? Is like, hi, I'm. I'm one of the master bathers here. <laughs> if you'd like to take a look at the menu. <laughs> what are we hurting pigs? Oh. Oh, two of the pigs are like, nah, we're not crossing the river. This one's like, I'm going home! Oh, I can't see the pig! <laughs> but we want, we, there's, I, I am not forking out for the $200 one. I think, I think you can get a, uh, it's like a $50 bath where you get some help. We just want the basic one. We just want the basic one today. <laughs> oh, but yeah, they literally master bathers. It was a right giggle. Yeah, hopefully some more transit authority people are around later. If not, it'll be uh, Jaws on the farm time. I was meant to look at the general store. Oh, I'll look at the I'll look at the store in Valentine. I knew I forgot something. Come on, horse, go faster. One day I'm going to crash into one of these sections. Oh, 
All right, we're coming up on Valentine. Oh. Oh, this tall stamina. Whoops. The thought of willingly riding to Valentine of all places to get a bar is whack. Like this should be the last place you want to get a bath. What? No. Oh yeah, then you gotta confirm. That's right. Dun 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 dun. dun. I'd rather bathe in the swamps. <laughs> Is anybody home? Now I'll show you the menu. So you've got the lonesome luxury. The brunch bath. The super deluxe. The fuck it all. And then they they told me that you had to flip. Who might you be? The private bath. Oh. Good day. My name is Albert Groves. Well, good to meet you. Name is Drew. Drew Peters. Nice to meet you, Drew. I was just popping in. Um, I met some of the staff here yesterday about some of the baths available. And I was going to see if anyone was around to give me one. Well, um, you can take your own bath without help. Unless you're a toddler. Oh, it's just I have a bit of trouble reaching my back. That sounds like, um... Should do more hard labor or some lose some weight. I definitely you am. I recently uh, began training with the Transit Authority. What hard labor is that? That's uh, working on the trains, the carriages. I know what I know what the Transit Authority is. I'm asking what hard labor comes with that. Well, it's quite a lot of effort walking down, back up and down the train to begin with. Sean. Shoveling coal? You shovel coal. Well, I imagine that may be involved. Looking at you. I I don't believe that. Well, I only just started yesterday. Okay. You know what? I've actually been thinking about uh, maybe looking into a career with the transit as well, but. I think you're lying to me. Y you don't shovel coal. I think you are one of those big wigs up in the city, aren't you? No, I, I arrived here about a week ago. Or from London. Landon? Where the fuck is that? Uh, London. From the United Kingdom. The fuck is that? That's a, that's a country overseas. Oh. That's probably... Well, where did your family come from? Missouri. B before that. Missouri. Right. But yeah, they... they your, your family didn't start here, though, did they? I don't fucking know. I just know I come from Missouri. My family before me came from Missouri. 
That's all I know. What's your last name again? <laughs> Bartholomew. Bartholomew. Yeah, you're, you, you, your family probably immigrated over from England as well. I was only funning. My last name's Peters. Oh, Peters? Yes. Well, that's a... That's a, a very English sounding name if I ever did hear one. What's your last name? Groves. I've been to a couple of those. Uh, they're all over the fucking states here. So I think you are a hypocrite. That's what I think. A what? A hypocrite. I am no such thing. Goodness, do you need a bath or not? Well, I wouldn't mind one. I'm not in it's not a death or life situation. I just the staff here were very pleasant yesterday. Well, I'm not staff. I'm just saying if you need a bath, go take one. I don't think someone needs to rub your balls for you, do they? <laughs> well, I wasn't going I mean there, there are plenty of hookers over there at that uh, that red building. I'm not you find plenty of people to rub your balls. I'm not looking for a hooker. Water bubbles. I'm here for a bath, not a, a hooker. Well, then go take a bath. It's that easy. But why would I? Why would I take one myself when I can get a, a helping hand? I mean, I I guess I don't understand. Then if I'm gonna take a bath, I don't need no help at hand. I know it needs to be cleaned, and I I know how to clean it. Well, I have a rough idea of that as well, but a, a lending hand is always appreciated. A second pair of eyes, and and these the lovely young staff that works here at the bathhouse, they have they have a right to earn money too, don't they? So, while we talk, do you mind if I smoke? Not at all. <laughs> I'm just very. Oh, my goodness. Well. I must say, you have a good taste in tobacco. Yes, yeah, picked it myself. I'm talking about how you smoke it. Oh, thank you. Well, sadly, I can't help you bathe. That's fine. That's fine. I was just popping in to see if any of the staff were here. If they're not, that's all right. They, they were. They were here. But I think they're in the doctor's office because the the person that runs this place, uh, I think, got injured. Maybe I, I honestly don't know. Did he slip over in the bath? I don't know what she did, but something happened. But if you need a bath, if you want to pay me, I can help you out. Oh, I was hoping that one of the staff members I met yesterday were here. They were. They were very good, seemed to know no, what they're, they're doing. Not. I am, though, so if you, you, you don't, me, help you me. don't work here. No, I don't, but I can today. <laughs> I don't feel right seeking out an independent contractor bather. I would, I would rather go with a, a respected business. No offense. That's fine. I'm a very clean person, though. I know how to bathe. I know what needs to be cleaned and what needs to be cleaned and how to clean it. So I'm just saying, if you need help, if you're willing to pay, I, I wouldn't mind. Well, it's not that I, it's I suppose it's not really that I need a bath. It's that I, I want a bath. Oh, you want to get dead a little, little bit. I, I no, understand. No, not at all. It's just it would be it. it so would. You are disgusting. I know what you want. And that's fine. <laughs> I'm not offering to diddle you, but I'll, I'll help you bathe if you need the help. So I'm... It's, like I said, it sounds like you're a toddler. <laughs> so I am not seeking out the $200 item on the menu here. I was just going to get the, the $50, just a quick helping hand. But not to be Sean. diddled. Well, sure, I wouldn't do that anyway, but I'd help you. Well, but I don't get it clean. I wouldn't... Not I wouldn't, help you diddle. I won't do that. I wouldn't mind it just a bit of a back rub. 
Or maybe just someone to talk to a little bit. You know what? I'm sorry for giving you so much flack. Because there is a woman that uh, works here. Her name is Lily. And she writes poetry and she'll give you a bath and read some poetry to you. It's, it's something else. Is this Miss Wood? What? What's her last name? I don't fucking know. I just know it's Lily. Well, I miss. I I met I met a Miss Wood here yesterday, who was who was very nice. I can't recall if her name was, first name was Lily or Lynn, or something to that regard. We may be thinking of the same person, but she'll read poetry to you, eh? Yes, um, pretty damn good too, if I must say. Well, see, that sounds quite nice, making a, a mundane well, activity. I can read you poetry too. I have some limericks. I can do the same thing if you don't want to be diddled. Like I said, I can help you. I have poetry. Well, let's see. I don't want, in a sense, I don't want to be physically diddled, but I wouldn't mind a, a diddling of the mind. You know, a, a, you know, a cultural awakening while doing something as mundane as taking a bath. And I can provide that. It's just I have a dick. That's the only <laughs> difference. <laughs> Look, teach their own. But I, I can just, tell I... by eyeballs. You want something more? I can see. I can see it, Mister. I can I, see it. I just wanted to to show my appreciation for the kind hospitality the staff of this reputable business showed me yesterday. I yes, just I, and I can provide that. I don't feel comfortable pursuing the the business of an independent contract with no track record of being a master bather. A master bather? That's right. Miss Miss Wood here is a master bather. Hmm. Again, you reaffirm what you're looking for. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Someone that's a to master of their craft. To be diddled. I, I don't it. want it's to fine. be diddled. I would like to be clean. You know, recover, refreshed from a, the previous day's hard work, and then so that I'm presentable for the next day's activities. Hmm. Okay. What, what you got going on tomorrow? Oh, well, well, I worked yesterday, so today I'm expecting hopefully some more training with the Transit Authority. Yeah, I didn't say today. I said tomorrow. You're, you're getting ready today. I get that. What's tomorrow? Well, tomorrow I'll be sleeping. Well, then you ain't getting ready for nothing but sleeping. I don't think no one has to diddle you for that, do they? The, the diddling does not come with every service here. And it's even then, it's only optional. Well, if you pay high dollar, it does. So, it sounds like you want to pay the highest dollar. I, I am certainly not looking to pay $200 for a service today. I was merely wanting to get, I think it's the $50 one. It's still pretty, pretty fucking expensive. So, and like I said, I can provide that to you. I have great poems. You don't believe me? I do. I'm definitely not. I'm sure your palms are fine. I'm sure they're fine. No, I'm saying my poems. Oh, my your poems. poems. God damn, you really expect me to diddle your balls. My goodness. That's all I'm offering. <laughs> no, thank you, the sir. the $50 package. I'll tell you poems. I will. But, uh, that's it. <laughs> Fucking hell. So, may I ask, what, what, what do you do for work? Whatever I want to. So you're a bit of a jack-of-all-trades. I guess you could say so, Sean. I've been around. I've ran saloons. I've ran businesses. Sean, nowadays, I'm not sure if the gray hair can come off to you telling, but yes, um, I'm, I, I guess I could say I'm retired. I do have aspirations and ideas, but <laughs> with that, it comes money. Retired? How old are you? I'm 38. 
38? And looking to retire? You must be sitting on a fortune. Looking to retire? No, I said I am retired. Sitting on a fortune? No. I still need uh, a little tiny bit to get a stagecoach for my business venture, but uh, that'll come with time. With the good Lord willing, I have that time. I don't know, though. Who knows? No one does. <laughs> Who is this guy? Well, look, like I've said, it's. I would much rather wait for someone who's, you know, their, their main focus in life, their career path, is being a master bather. You know, a real... A real expert in their field. What makes them an expert? Well, I imagine the, the time they've put into it. That'd be one thing. The, the training they've received. Well, I've bathed for 38 years. I know how to get clean. I've done it quite a bit. So, who's not to say I'm not an expert? Well, I've been bathing myself for uh, God knows how. So what's how your criteria? You want someone else to bathe you? <laughs> well, before yesterday, I'd never really considered it. I just happened to stumble. I was out on the porch there, and I was uh, watching some of the locals show me how to backflip. And, uh, well, one of the, the ladies complimented me on my hat. Next thing I know, I'm being told, told all about the, the services provided here at this business. Before then, I'd That's never... Because it is a business. They're going to tell you all they provide, and they're going to make it sound amazing. By the way, that is a nice hat. I do have to see that. Thank you. Brought it on the boat with me from London. What? What's your name, mister? Albert Groves. Albert. Name's Drew. Drew Peters. Pleasure. <laughs> yes, nice to meet you again, Mr. Peters. All right, well, if you don't want to pay me for a bath, then um, just ride back over there. Take a bath. Enjoy it. No what? one needs to diddle you for it. <laughs> well, I might pop by the, the doctor's office, see how long they'll be. Well, um, you do whatever you want to. I mean, this is America, right? Land of the free. Be free. I hope, you. I hope so. I've heard good things. Yeah, well, I guess you'll find out now, won't you? You want someone to do your balls? What? Who are you? <laughs> Where did he come from, man? Oh, shit. <laughs> Hello, Hagelon. Hello, Shelby. Oh, my God. <laughs> Not to laugh, because on this server there's a you gotta really try not to break character. But it's like, how am I supposed to keep a straight face when he's like just straight up like I know what you want. <laughs> it's like who are you? <laughs> oh my god. Like he wants to retire at 38, but he doesn't, even, he doesn't even have, like, savings or anything. <laughs> and it's just, it felt like, like, you know, like, out in public, you'd come across a boomer that just, it's, they're like, I'm going to tell this person my opinion on everything, whether they want to hear it or not. It felt like that kind of energy, like... Transithora, you, you look like you've never worked a day in your life. Like, what? Who the fuck? Back the fuck off. Who the fuck are you? Oh, shit. Oh, dude. Oh, my God.
And there's no one here to give me a bath. <laughs> also, Zero Cool. Yo, man, thank you for the follow. Again? What? Two, three minutes ago? What? Oh, my God. <clears throat> Holy crap. Ooh. Okay, they said I'll need binoculars. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. Oh my god. I'm done. <laughs> Couldn't keep up. <laughs> <coughs> what else did they say I'll probably need? <clears throat> oh, uh, uh, I've got... No, I've already got a lantern. That's right. They mentioned a lesso. So you can get a parasol, Mrs. Phenom. You can get a parasol. But I think that's like one of those, you know, fancy, you know, like f fancy umbrellas. You know, like a parasol. Duh. Um, I don't, I don't know if you can get like just a classic, you know, a classic uh, umbrella. <clears throat> Uh, maybe a sledgehammer? Look at this. They've even, got, they've even got tongs. They've even got goddamn tongs. Can't escape the tongs. Um. Oh! Now, I was shown where to find clean water. Not that long ago. Let's see if we can find that. Oof. Oh my god. It was like behind one of these houses. I can't remember. So let me- did I miss anything else in chat? The Hagelot and, and Shelby. <clears throat> <laughs> it's not so much <laughs> it's not so much a physical diddling I'm after but I wouldn't say no to a mental diddling diddling of the mind <laughs> thank you <laughs> I'll go back and look after oh my god Just the, the delivery of all these lines. Like, holy crap, dude. Like, it was just... It was, it was kind of intimidating. Like, I didn't, know, I didn't know how to respond half the time. Like, this guy's... Cr this guy's crazy! Oh, good stuff. Oh, I'm definitely feeling it, Steve. Like... An another goal of playing on- like, trying this server is... Is trying to- is- Is, uh, in a sense, to be challenged. Cause I know, like, there's some really... Like, there's some real, like, scary good... Role plays on this server. Like, full on actors and stuff. And so, I, I'd really like to learn. I, like, I'm hoping a bit of their talent rubs off on me and I can learn a thing or two. And I definitely, I definitely felt challenged there. I was, there was a few times where I'm like, I just couldn't think of the right words. Because just my, my vocabulary can be a bit limited sometimes. Um, I do not have a very good internal thesaurus. I was like, huh? So it's good. Keeps me on my toes. 
<sighs> yes, no, I, I, I definitely felt that, Shelby. Sometimes I was like, like yeah, some days it was just a lot of, um, cops and robbers, or, or just, like I love, um, I love the, I love the comedy on Diablo. But yeah, sometimes it was like, I was like, I, I had a hankering for, um, for something more. I know, Shelby, I know. I know, and I'm sure a lot of other people do too. Because, yeah, so many people would comment that their favorite, like on YouTube, like on the YouTube VODs and in the, in the Twitch chat, that, yeah, their favorite, their favorite thing to keep up to date with was the... The Cynthia and George antics, um, which was always really nice to hear. And I miss it as well. No, I do, I, but yeah, I do, I do really miss like that. And like, there's so, there's so many people I miss regularly playing with on Diablo. And I hope no one forgets that. Like, there is, there's so many people I miss playing regularly with. Um, yeah. Um, I, I, I think it was a bit of both, Hagelin. There was a bit of, uh, definitely a lot of, uh, professionalism. Attempted professionalism helping out. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm I'm feeling that um, I'm feeling that Shelby. It's it's um, I'm definitely feeling a like a matching energy vibe here, um, which is really cool. Trying to break someone, making them laugh is such a power play. <laughs> Being happy to buy your guns on me when I'd stolen them was very satisfying. Discounts for lawmen. I I suspected I as the player I suspected that. But I was very dedicated to playing George's being very um uh naive and and all that. I don't know if I don't know if Everyone knows this, but it's good. It's good if your character has flaws and doesn't always win. Wink, wink. Oh, why am I doing that? Did you know a well-rounded character has flaws? What? What? Well, that's nice, Steve, but did you know my character can fly? My character is um, immune to bullets. Um, so there's no one here at the bathhouse. And I'm not seeing any updates on the... Uh, On the training. Maybe I'll go check the telegrams again. <laughs> Evening. Wheeler shot someone in the head for the first time this week. Jesus Christ. Well, yeah, with her background and being a doctor, you'd think, yeah, shooting someone in the head would be the last thing on her mind. It's... I'm enjoying playing a character that's pretty much just a, a civilian 
it's a it's a very different way it's a very different approach which is neat Because it's, so it's Sunday morning here, so it'll be Saturday night for people, for America. So imagine, oh, a lot of people will probably have things on, right? So maybe for doing transit authority training, maybe Saturday morning for me is the, is the time to go, because there was ample people to train me yesterday seems they may be they may be engaged today I'm not sure if anyone's around. It makes me a sad panda. Yeah, we might have to, um, we might have to go do some farm chores. Because Albert doesn't really know of anywhere else to to really go to do things yet. Like during the rolling interview, we went through, we popped through Blackwater and Armadillo and Tumbleweed and that, but there's not really any reason for him to just go there. Like, apart from keep an eye out for training. The only other thing he really knows about now is, um... Excuse me, howdy. Good evening! Howdy, can you help me? Yes! How can I help you? Uh, how you doing today? What's your name? Uh, Albert Groves. Good, I'm just, uh, waiting for a train. Oh, is there one on the schedule here today? Well, not yet, but I'm, I'm hoping that I'm hoping there will be some uh, some heading around later. I'm, I'm looking to do some more. I've recently begun training with the Transit Authority. Oh, okay, oh, really? that's nice. Yes, I'm just there doesn't seem any any officers around to, to to do more training, so I'm just sort of killing time. Oh, How are you going? For law. Pardon? You said you're looking for law, right? Uh, no, uh, officers with the uh, transit authority. Oh, with the transit authority, oh, I see. Oh, well, you know what you can telegram them, right? Yes, yeah, so I've I've sent them a telegram, and yeah, no reply yet. But that's all right. It's still early in the day. Well, you know what? We actually have a, a great opportunity for you, sir. Oh? Yeah. You know, we we wanna we wanna make sure you know you don't waste your time. Oh yes. What, 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 how could I be in service? No, well, first off, sir, we uh, we're gonna kidnap you, and we're gonna take you somewhere secluded. Kidnap me? What? Why? Yep. God damn right. Yeah, damn right. What? Get on his horse. Get on his horse. Get right on. Oh my horse. God. What? Get on. Uh, which horse? Mine. Old man's horse. The brown horse. Oh, please, I. A beautiful horse. I've never oh, been I'm shot before, please. Oh, he's hardly. I'm getting on. I'm, I won't give you any trouble. Good. Is it right if I hold on to your hips? Yeah, hold hold on tight to my hip. All right. Uh, What's your name again? Uh, Albert. Don't worry, Albert. We're not gonna kill you. Actually, what if we go straight ahead here? Oh my God! On that hill yeah. over there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're not going to th th throw me off the cl cliff, are you? Afraid of heights, Albert? 
No, Are I just nervous, Albert. I, I just don't really like falling on my head. Okay, you know, yeah. let's uh, let's go to the to the edge of the cliff, you know, so we can see the thing from here. We don't want you to miss a ship. Oh no! I, how do you put your hands up on this server? I can't remember. Look how beautiful Vantown looks down there. Don't it, you agree, Albert? It, it looks very small from here. Yeah, but it's the thing. The small things in life are some of the most beautiful things. I, I guess. All right, come on. Don't don't you be taking off on my horse, okay? I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm getting the down. down. I'm getting down. How do I? Okay. What's the? I'm having trouble what's, putting my hands up. Oh, come, come here, come here at least. Just put your hands up. Uh, I'm just trying uh, to remember the muscle. Yeah. Uh, you know what? It, it's, 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 it's not about it's not about me. It's about you. Oh, there we go. Big stretch. Yo, brands. What'd you say? Pardon? Nothing, never mind. What's he have on him? He has absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah, nothing at all. Oh, he has sixty dollars. I mean, if he's if he's waiting, you know, to get a job, you know, I don't really want to take all this money. I only just started with the transit authority yesterday. I haven't even made a penny with that. This has been from uh, chores on the farms. But you know what? We can't do this without there being something on the line here. It's gotta be something. I'm taking those forty dollars. You know what? Oh come on! I earned that out on the farm as an independent oh, contractor. Absolutely. And you know what? You know what? Now, because of your situation, Mr. Rambert, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna give you the opportunity to earn it back even harder. Or you could just give it back, I suppose. No, that's not how this works. Well, so the thing is, right? I took forty dollars of you. You choose which one of us you want to fight. And if you beat one of us, you get your forty dollars back, plus twenty more. I would come back. I could potentially make a profit. That's, That's correct. true. Yeah. Well, I'm not really much of a, of, of, I'm more of a lover than a fighter. <laughs> well, so is one of us is a lover and one of us is a fighter. You got to pick which one. Hopefully, you pick the right one. I'm not uh, saying who it is, but you know somebody here is you know really well known for fighting. Can I ask you both a, a, a question before making an assessment? And go ahead. Sure. Yeah. Uh, if both of you could quickly answer for me the following question: uh, uh, Both of you, what comes to mind is sort of like an ideal date to take a lady on. I don't know where hilltop with a view. Right. A uh, ma mountain, yeah. Mountain top. Not a hilltop, a mountain top. Right. You know I'm going to pick the fellow that this? said mountain. How how about this? You know, if we, if you, you know, beat one of us, we, we're going to take you to that destination afterwards. Oh, I, 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 I don't really feel like going up a mountain today. Yeah, I don't no, really want to go to a mountain either. No, it's not up in a mountain. You know that first spot where you throw that guy off the other cliff? It's pretty romantic. Did he fall head over heels? Something like that. Oh, that's now, lovely. Know, fuck, fuck, fuck it, we don't have to take you there. We can just show you on the map. Uh, okay, well, who, who are you picked in the fight? He said you. You said mountain. Oh, did he? Okay. The gentleman that mentioned the mountain as the ideal date location. Fair enough. Okay, all right. Step closer to the edge. Oh, damn it. I don't, why can't we do it here? Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> How do you fight? I think about right here is fine. This is an awfully dangerous location for a spot of fisticuffs. It's a dangerous life that we live. I just want to drive the trains. Is this that land of the free everyone was telling me about? This is. Now are you ready? Hold Alfred, on, give me a Alfred, second. Alfred Albert, what was it again? 
It's Albert, God damn, Albert Groves. Yeah, Albert Groves. <laughs> I don't want to m mess up my hat or jacket. Fair enough. Oh, one second as well. I better roll up my sleeves. <laughs> Aren't they rolled up? There we go. All right. I suppose if there's no choice in the matter. Okay. Get ready to fight for your life. Three. Two. <laughs> one. Fight. Come on, Albert. Come on in, old boy. Go on, show us what you're bloody well made of, old Sunny Jim, chap me lad. Spry one here. Not spry enough. Come on, Squire. Is that the best you've bloody well got? I'll take that. You yanks hit like you drink tea. Come on! Damn. Okay, he's a tough one, actually. I was... I... Should have seen me in my younger days in London, old boy! Come on! Oh, God! There we go. That was actually kind of tough, to be honest. <laughs> Holy hell, you really gave him a workout. I'd be glad you didn't choose me. <coughs> it would have been done sooner. <laughs> oh, fucking die from that one. You know, these trains might be quite safe if he's the one guarding them. <laughs> Just make sure you're not too bad off here, Albert. Gosh. How you feeling? How you feeling, old boy? Come over the cliff. Oh my god. I thought I was winning as well. Albert, can you hear me? <laughs> what? What? You alive. <coughs> yes. Hey. What? I'm good. Good. Can you do me a, f a favor? What's that? Yeah, what's that? Can you... <coughs> can you light my pipe for me? Just reach into my yeah. pocket and if you could <coughs> light my pipe for me, I could really go with some nice <coughs> tobacco. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're gonna be fine, old chap. You're gonna be just fine. I suppose. It, I hope it wouldn't be too much to ask to be t taken to a, a doctor. I b promise I won't say anything. I can give you a quick ride into town, I suppose. Who's that down there looking at us? Where? Where? That, uh, that guy you knew? Oh, yes, yeah, Drew Peters. I, I'm, I'm gonna bring my horse, you help him up. Drew right? Peters! Drew Come Peters! <laughs> Everything's going dark. Just open your eyes. Come on. Okay. Come on, you get up. Come on. I think I fear my eyes may be too bruised. Oh. There you go. Oh. Okay. I think no. I I think I need a doctor. 
I said, we'll take you to the doctor. You gotta get up. My pipe. You right to the, the tobacco is just not. It's not helping. Uh. Come on, find that strength in you that you just had. To I don't know how much we'll strength I've got left. Listen here, you got tons of strength. Oh. Uh. You got tons of strength. These trains need you. These trains need you. Come on. I'll help you up here. Okay. Come on. One, two, three. Oh, sorry. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Fuck. You see, you Sorry, you shouldn't have said anything about strength. <laughs> sorry, old chap. Come on, Drew Peters. Come on, Drew Peters. Okay. Is Drew Peters going to save me after all that? Uh, uh. <laughs> Hang in there, you're gonna survive. Hey. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Did you, you say this? that Drew Peters was watching? I think that's him right there behind us. He offered to, ba to bathe me. Oh. Well, I that's said, sweet. no, thank you, sir. I do not require the bathing services of an independent contractor. When, when you tell, when you tell Law what happened here, you, tell, you definitely don't tell him that, that Oscar Quill did this to you. Oscar what? Get off the horse. <laughs> the lawman see me. <laughs> I was really hoping that Drew Peter would come to the rescue. <laughs> oh, that would be so perfect. I'm kind of hoping that someone will notice I've just been dumped in the street. I, hope, I feel like that would be better. And all the brands, is that... Is that Levi Sykes? Is that Levi? Uh, oh, you're right there. Uh, I believe I may require some assistance, please. What you had one too many vodkas or something? I, I took I took a tumble off a cliff. Jesus Christ! Oh, what's your name, Bill? Groves, Albert Groves. Albert Groves. All right, you need a doctor? Please. Okay. You see my hand here? Yes. All right, see where it's pointing? The building that says drugs on it? Oh, yes. You go right over there. I I'm not doctors. I'm not sure if I can walk. You can't walk? Here, up on where did that work? Pardon? Get onto his horse. Can you do that? Uh, I'll try and get him. Thank you. Uh, appreciate it. Did you <laughs> say you fell off a cliff? Something like that. I don't know. Now I'm not going to carry your hands to the doctors, but it's right here. There's white building right here. I appreciate the help. <laughs> I don't know if there's any doctors available right now, but, uh, you know, maybe a local doctor can help you out, or, uh... Oh! Oh, jeez. <laughs> You're all right. You Thank you for the ride into too. town. Yeah. No hey, you might need a bath afterwards. <laughs> it's a good thing they got a bathhouse right down there. I could really go a bath right now. Thank you, gentlemen. Yeah. No worries. That's it. Take it easy. <laughs> Hello. Talk about one shit at least you would. Hello? <laughs> Is there a doctor in the house? <laughs> 
Is there a doctor in the house? <laughs> really thought the drunk walk star would be more. It's definitely active. Hello? <laughs> Have you seen, have you seen the dog there? <laughs> Just right in his way. Hello? Is anybody home? <laughs> I need help. <laughs> the guy's like, you can't walk? Nah, I just love lying in the mud, mate. Maybe there's someone at the bathhouse. A bath will fix everything, right? Oh! Of course, when I need help, Valentine is deserted. <laughs> Hello? I say, I say, is anybody home? <coughs> Hello? Imagine if Drew Peters came. <laughs> so, how about that bar? <laughs> Look like look who's come crawling back. <laughs> Good morning. Did I do that right? Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. It's like there's no one here. There's no one bloody here. Might wait a little bit longer just to see if there's anyone around. I can always hear these damn NPCs arguing. Oh! Hey! 
has help arrived? <laughs> the Valentine roof dwellers. Yo, Dome. Yo, man. If it's not too much to ask, uh, I was looking for some help. What the hell? Are you all right? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Drew, is that you? you? Oh my God. What are you doing? W what's wrong with you? I, uh, I took a tumble off a cliff. Well, but... I can see that. You stink to high heaven. Yeah, I've... It's been very difficult getting back into town and my head's a bit woozy. Well, uh, maybe one thing you need is a bath. Clean yourself up, maybe you'll clear your head up. Maybe you need a fucking doctor. There's, I can't find a, a doctor anywhere. Oh, good lord. Look at your fucking... You... Hold on. You said you fell off a cliff. Sure. Why does it look like you got punched in the eyes? Both of them. I, I think I hit every rock on the way down with my face. Goodness. I think you're lying to me, but... You seem like a good man. That... What do you expect me to do about this? And anyone else you're calling out for help for? What I, are they going to do? Tell you to go to the doctor? Tell you to take a bath? What, what do you want from this? I just... I would just really like some help. I would love to help you, but I don't know how I can do that. I, if there's no doctors around, maybe maybe a bath would help? I offered you a bath, you son of a bitch. I know, this is... I, I don't know what else to do right now. Well, I think, first off, you need a doctor. Your face is, um... Not looking too good. No, it doesn't... It doesn't feel very good, If I Drew. could pick you up, I would. I'll take you right over there to the fucking doctors, because you need that. For sure. There's nobody home. There's no lawman. There's no doctors. There's just there's just some lady running around the rooftops. Mm. I'm gonna have this too. Don't, <laughs> don't mind me. I'm numb. Mm. But the thing is <clears throat> sorry. All thing right. is, you're sitting here, woozy as all get out. And you ask for help. If I wasn't around here, you'd still be asking. Someone would show up. What help are they going to provide? What, what else am I supposed to do? I don't know. Now, I offered you a bath. And 
God damn it, you need you smell so bad. I know. It's I keep falling over in the mud. It's just my head really hurts. God damn it. Forgive me, what was your name again? Groves. Albert Groves. Albert. Thank you. Forgive me for what I'm about to do. Okay. It's for your best. All right. You understand that? Okay. Trust me. All right. You understand? Uh, oh. Uh, go to sleep. 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 Go You're all right, Albert. You're all right. That's what I said. Please trust me. I'm going to give you a bath, and then I'm going to send you over there. Okay? <laughs> I am a... If that hurt, I'm sorry. But you seem like a good man. I'm going to wash you up. We're going to get you figured out here. <laughs> Shut up, Stanley. It's none of your business. <laughs> Shut up, Stanley. All right. I'm gonna drop you in here. Little Billy. Hey. Is there people in here? Uh hey. yes, sir. Come on in. What the hell are you doing? I'm washing this man. Does he want to be washed? Um, yes. He was filthy. And I was about to take him to your office after this. Why are you taking him to our office? He can explain that to you. All right, buddy. Well, no need to wash him. You can get him out. He can wash himself. He's a grown man. You ain't his pappy. I've said that to him. <laughs> I told him that. Okay. But he's hurt. All right. Well, you should leave that to the medical. You shouldn't put him in a bath if he's hurt. He's cognitive, sir. Right, but he's hurt. I don't think it's life-threatening. And at the same time, he asked me for help. And that was my first go-to, was to take him to medical. He said he went there. There was no one there for him. Hey, sir, you all right? Check him over. Oh, blah, 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 blah. You need medical? <laughs> so, there's law here. So, he can take care of you. I'm a civilian. This is a law, man. Hey. You hear me? I don't know. I mean... I'm right here. I'm not going nowhere, but I'm just saying. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead here. and pick him up. Come on, Bonnet. I'll follow yeah. you over there <laughs> as long as the lawman says it's okay. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, sure. I don't care. What the hell's wrong with him? How's he hurt? I don't know. He was just injured. And he was absolutely goddamn filthy. I told you, him to go to the goddamn office over there. I even said the law office. He has two black eyes. Both of them. Looks like two plums. <laughs> I, right. I think from what I can see, he got beat the fuck up. Or robbed or something. I don't know. But maybe you... Uh, maybe he'll remember or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just trying to help him. That's all I was trying to do. Drew, did you give me a bath? Did I give you one? Did you give me a bath? Hey. I tried to give you a bath, but you didn't want it the first right. place. <laughs> I told you I was going to give you one. I didn't diddle you, so... 
I'm Don't sorry. Worried about that. I take it back. I'm sorry for doubting you, Drew. No, don't start that. Just let's make sure you're okay. Um, I'm sorry, God damn it. All right, Drew, do you think you can take care of him? I think I got to deal with something now. Sure, sure. I really um, appreciate you, Drew. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Sorry. No worries. <laughs> you all right? Hey, Drew, make sure you're uh, right. Yes. I, I, I don't know. Where no, am I just... now? You're in the doctor's office. You're fine. All right, I'm just fumbling around. I'm trying to find these salts. When I say sniff, just sniff, okay? It will get you figured out. I don't know what your problem is or what you're going through, but we'll figure it out, all right? All right. Just hold on. I'm trying to find them. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I'm dying. Oh. <laughs> this is cooked. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to right. sleep. I know it's around here somewhere. Just give me a second. It, it's, it's around here somewhere. It's all right. I'm not going Is anywhere. Is it in your fucking pocket? What? Did you take it from me? Did you pick pocket me? I've never picked pocket anyone in my life. Oh, shit. It's around here somewhere. Hold on. Holding on. I'm going to tell you to sniff. Just take a big old sniff. Okay. It's around here. I, I, yeah. I know I had it, like, in my back left. Maybe it's in my back right. I don't know. <laughs> Let me keep on looking. It's, it's there somewhere. Hold on. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. I'm going to crack it open. I have to kind of swirl around. All right, you ready? Take a big old sniff. Take a big sniff. <laughs> Big one, Big, uh, bigger, bigger. Oh, there you go, there you go, there you go. Just be careful getting up. Come on, be careful. Oh my goodness gracious! You okay? Uh, I think so. What well, the bloody like hell happened? Bath made you a lot more cleaner. Look at you. You look better. At the same time, right, let me um. <clears throat> Let me lower my voice. Who the fuck hurt you? Who did that? Who was it? Uh, uh, I, uh, I know you got beat up. For what? Why'd you get beat up? What did they want? They, Who were they? They took... They they took some money. Who were they? It was two gentlemen. One was named... Uh... Oliver or something? Oliver. I think so. They they knew who you were. Are you wanting to report this to Long? They they I don't Listen. Are you wanting to report this to Long? I I don't I don't want it to come back to me. They 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 told me to tell people That's that it didn't happen. That's not my question. Are you wanting to report this to law? I, yes. If no, that's great. Give me all the information and descriptions that you can. I have ways of finding out things, and I will. You seem like, like I said before, a decent man. It's not your fault. You just wanted to be diddled in a bath. And, and I guess it's every man's fantasy every now and again. It, not mine, but, you know, it can be anyone's. Just not mine. I didn't want to be diddled in the bath. I, I don't, I don't know what I remember. It was, it was two gentlemen. One was. You remember names. 
facial features, um, beard, hair, colors, whatever, anything. I remember one Unless of the- Unless you want to report this to the law, that's fine too. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, I don't. They only then how about we go talk to that lawman and you can report to him. But they'll, they'll find out that I told them and they'll come find me and they'll take more money. Let's see here. You said they knew who I was. They, 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 they saw Why some- Why does that fucking matter? I don't know. They just, you're the only person they pointed out from on top of the hill. They were, they were saying, is that, who's that down there? Who's that watching us? And they said, is that Drew Peters? And I thought, oh, I'm saved. Why does that matter with your um, livelihood, with your protection? Why does that matter who the fuck I am? I don't know. I just, they, 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 they seem to recognize you. Yeah. Why does that fucking matter that they tried to fucking... They obviously beat you to a goddamn pulp. They had or me. What? They had me fight one of them. They said if I could best him with with my fists, I could get, I could get my forty dollars back. God damn it! Do me a favor. You do whatever you want. Talk to the law. That's fine. How about I give you forty dollars? You act like this never happened and give me all the information you have or go to the law and do the same. What 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 can you do about it? Don't worry about what I can do. <laughs> Holy shit. That's not important. What's important to me is these sons of bitches knew who I was and it was important enough for them to single you out. I, well, to be honest, that made no make no sense to me, but you know what? I was just I was just walking back into town after after checking the, my telegrams in case there was any transit authority training happening. And then they 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 stopped me, and they stopped for a bit of a chat. And then they said, and then suddenly it became a matter of they say, "Well, we're going to kidnap you, and we're going to take you away somewhere." And don't try. So anything. why am I involved into this? Well, they they took they took me up onto the hill, past the train tracks, and it was up there that they wanted to. Me to fight All one right, of them. Jimmy, I'm done listening to your bullshit. I'm getting to where you're involved. What? The man's fine. I'm getting to the part that involves you. God. All right, Joseph, tell me. What? My name's Albert. Okay, uh,. Alex, come on. But then, but yeah, they they saw someone down below the hill, and they were worried they were watching them. And then the only name they said they said, "Is that Drew Peters?" And they weren't sure. The way you said it, and the way they probably said it, I wasn't there. I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't give tell. Me a name of who they are, or description of who they are, and it is not your fucking business to know how I can handle things. All right, that's not your business. But if they were so worried about me, and I tried to help you, that's a pretty big courtesy you could lend in my fucking direction. If you don't want to, that's fine. Law here, so all this we can just leave it here I, we, that's up to you Albert do you want to deal with it I'm curious of who the 
fuck is worried about who I am and who I isn't? That's what I'm curious about. I don't, I, I don't know. They just, they, they thought they saw you and I think one of their names was... Yeah, why is that important? Why does that fucking matter? I don't know. I don't either. But you don't have an explanation of who they were, what they look like, any names, nothing. One was bald with a, well, he had a mustache, but it was like a very unkempt, big bushy mustache. The other one, I believe, had uh, mutton chops. And I think he oh, said his name no was idea. Oliver, but I can't remember for Give sure. The old chops. They didn't say names. They didn't say nothing. He, when they dropped me off in on the in the street, he 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 made the effort to say, and don't go telling the law department that something like Oliver. Oliver something didn't do this. All right, All right. come on. Ollie, come here. But I can't remember for sure. No, I think it was Oliver. It's fine. Just hold on. Stop talking for a sec. Go somewhere. With... Just hold on. Yeah. What? All right. Ollie, I'll tell you right now. A bald head, and then someone else you said with mutton chops, big old chops, kind of like yours, but were they very long, short? W what were they? They were sort of they were all, they were unkempt mutton chops. So very long. Yes, not very well groomed at all. And they did not tell you a name. It just when he dropped me off, he said, "Now make sure you don't tell them that." Oliver something did this. Yes, that's why I walked you away from the law office, because I don't want you to be in danger. But that don't give me fucking much at all to know who the fuck that was, and why it was so important and so wowing that you were talking to me. I, they didn't give any impression that they knew we had spoken in the bathhouse earlier. I don't care. One of the first things before they beat you to a bloody pulp was asking, is that Drew Peters? That's what I care about, Ollie. That. I, I don't know. They just they just saw someone down the hill and they thought it was you. That's That's all I know. We're going to call it here. Ollie, if you need anything, reach out to me. That's fine. I gave you a good bath. You're nice and healthy, I hope, with the doctor. Yes, I'm feeling much better. Thank you, Drew. Even though you haven't helped me at all. At fucking all, Ollie. My no. name's Albert. I'm gonna call you whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> Ollie. Oliver. Albert. <laughs> That's... I'm just so annoyed because someone asked about me and I'm so over the edge with this shit because I've lived a long life. Well, I'm sure you have too. Do you want me to show you the hill? I know possibly would heal the one behind us no the, the one past the train tracks the what do they call that deal fucking shit so uh yes that one over Howdy, there. folks i know what you're talking about hello <laughs> god damn it holy yes you have no... Howdy, ma'am. Good evening. You have no more information. Honestly, nothing. No, I don't. I don't... 
I don't Why remember. Why you laughing? This ain't <laughs> funny. I don't remember anything else. I'm sorry. Holy. This must... It must be bigger than just me and you. All right? That's why I'm worried. They just... You they just wanted my $40. And they took it and they beat you to a pulp. Did you resist giving that $40, Ollie? I said, please don't take that. I earned that working on the ranches. Yeah, well, they beat you to a goddamn bloody pulp. No, oh, I was fighting one of them. And I, th I, I felt like I was doing all right. It's been a while since I've had a bit of a fisticuffs, but, but he bested me. John. The only thing I turn back to is you, Ollie. Alex. Albert. Whatever the fuck you... I don't give a fuck. You said they questioned you and said my name. No, they didn't question That's me. Concerning. No, don't turn back on what you said. I know what you said. I heard it. <laughs> what? Don't turn back on that. <laughs> I know. The thing is, why? That's what I'm worried about. The thing is... This is not your fault. <laughs> Bartholomew, this is not your fault. <laughs> this guy's mental. They, they just... The Wilhelm, only Wilhelm, chill out, okay? It's not your fault. I'm just trying to realize what the hell is going on here. The only, the only... What the fuck was that? The only thing I gathered from that is that they, they must know you. Or well, they recognize you. They just... Of course they do. And you would know me too if you understood why this concerns me. Alabaster. <laughs> if you understood, you'd know. But you don't. And that's fine. No, I'm kind of glad I don't know. I'm feeling very scared. Then run on, puppy dog. I'm telling you right now. If you have information, great. I... But if you don't, and you sit there and try to make something, make a mountain out of a fucking molehill, that ain't good, mister. I don't know I'll anything say, else. I'll I'm tell sorry. You right now, I'll bury you. I don't know anything else. All right. We'll see you later, Alexis. <laughs> Thank you, Drew. Holy, <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. What the fuck? <laughs> Why does he look like he's talking? Holy crap. Oh my god. How do I turn off the facial expressions? Holy <laughs> What was one of the alabaster? <laughs> Holy crap. That guy is that guy is, uh, yeah, Joey, unhinged as, f like, he's so, like, how do they know who I am? Why did they ask him? It's like, they just, they just thought it was you, man. I don't know. I don't know. They just, they just thought it was you. Like, don't make a mountain out of a mole. Like, you don't know. You don't know the full story, Alvin. I'm like, what? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. It's like, this is bigger than... <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know what you want from me. I don't know what's going on. Oh my god.
But what was the guy? Did anyone catch the guy's name? He's like, now don't tell them that such and such did this. Was it Oliver something? I can't remember what he said. Quigley? Oscar Quigley? Was it Oscar or Oliver? Hey. Come here. If you don't mind. Come here. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Alexandria, I'm sorry for being so forward. Okay. It's all right. Uh, I may have it I may have remembered the name. Listen. No. Oh. I don't want to pressure you into things. I'm just I'm trying to um I'm going through shit, okay? Thing is, there's a lot of people out there that want to kill me. What? Why? Because they can't uh, understand my way of talking, my... <laughs> I don't know what you say. Um, They just <laughs> don't like me, I guess. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, it's not your problem. That's why I was trying my best to get information for one and for two make sure you're all right you're a stranger to me so but at the same time you don't seem like a bad man i just i just wanted to do some more transit authority training and it's been quite a day what if i were to tell you i'm about to open up a business that is all about transit but has nothing to do with the government. What do you say about that? Well, I, I don't. I don't know. I think it's. It may be too early for me to make a decision, guy. I've only just well, started. Let's just leave that to the wayside then. I, I would just. I would just really like to. To see through the rest of my transit authority training before I make any decisions like Sean, that let's not even talk about it all I right i just wanted to apologize because maybe i was a little too forward maybe i was a little too um angry that's that's right sometimes the emotions get the best of us it's all right it's not just the emotion so you were half dead look at you you have two black eyes Look like you have two goddamn plums on your fucking forehead. It's not a good look, I'll give it that. The thing is, those individuals, I, I'd venture to guess, and you can lie all you want, but they asked for my name. I want to know who the fuck they are. The thing is, it doesn't matter what you think or um what i will do i have ways to do whatever the fuck i want and i will <laughs> if you could give me names then it's not your problem no more because you ain't telling law i was thinking is if you can't give me names then i would suggest telling law because they will dance around that for days they give them a giddy dance, you know? They'll go to a party and talk about this for a, uh, God knows how long. But they will. And they'll have fun with it. But if you tell me names, it don't have to come to that. I ain't long. I was just thinking about it. And I think his name was... De is something that started with oh like it might not have been oliver it might have been oscar and then maybe something like wiggly maybe oscar wiggly oscar wiggly something like that that's that's all i can remember they didn't give any other personal details all but, right but they weren't wearing any masks or anything like if i saw then them in the street i'd reckon what they look like where they might have said they're from anything N a no. name is not the only thing that i'm looking for anything to pinpoint 
Uh, they didn't mention anything about where they're from uh, or what they do or anything. It's just here. Yeah, one was bald with a bushy moustache and the other wore a hat and he had long, unkempt mutton chops. The, the one with the mutton chops had a, had a, a lighter complexion and the, and the other, but it was dark, you see. It was, it was nighttime, so, but the other one looked like he may have been more tanned, the, the bald one with the bushy moustache. So, if I was a betting man, the people you ran into maybe got together in one place, one of which might have came from the West, the Tana complexion gentleman you talked about, and the other might be somewhere else, like the snowy area. I know I'm not asking you as if you know, I'm just uh, deducing. Maybe it's something bigger. Maybe it's something to do with other things I've been worried about for years. What, what could they possibly want with my $40? Well, apparently, the biggest deduction is seeing you with me <laughs> and asking you about me. Why do you think I'm so fucking worried about this, Albert? But they didn't ask me about you. You said they did. They were speaking amongst themselves about someone they saw down on the road. Yeah, with you, right? Yes, I, I, I was definitely within eavesdrop. You have to understand, I'm trying to help you. Yes. If these are sons of bitches that I think they are, we can cut this right now. Cut what? You'll be fine. And I'll just know for fucking sure who the fuck I'm hunting for. I don't know. Willard, you, you ain't give me the fucking information that I'm looking for. It's Albert. You don't know it. I'm sorry, I don't... I don't know anything else. Can I ask you a question? No. Besides being... Sorry, what was that? No. Okay, well, I want that. <laughs> what? I'm so scared. Carry on with your day, I'll carry on with mine. <laughs> oh! It's like dominoes. <laughs> I'm so scared of this guy. <laughs> I'm so sh I'm so shook. <laughs> oh my god, he's Holy crap. I think I need to get out of Valentine. I think I need to get the fuck out of Valentine <laughs> before something horrible happens. Oh my god. I'm so good. Oh, wait. I, I'll grab a drink first, Mrs. Fina. Oh, my God, Battle Tank. Have we just... We've just stumbled across, like, some, like, conspiracy theory. But he's so paranoid. Like, why were they asking about me? It's like, they weren't asking about you. They just... How are you doing tonight? Oh. Miss, I... I don't even know how to answer that question. What happened? Well, 
I was, I was walking back into town after checking my telegrams to hopefully do some more training with the transit authority. And these two gentlemen, they kidnapped me and took me up to a cliff and they stole some money. And they, they told me that if I could best one of them with my fists, I could get not only my money back, but another $20. But he, 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 he bested me and then they dumped me in the middle of town. You said it was two people. Yes, two two men. Right. Are they still in town? Was this recent? I've been. Uh, I was. I received some help from a gentleman who took me to the bathhouse and such. For I don't know how long I've been recovering, but I have. I have. I don't think I've seen them over the last maybe twenty minutes or so. All right. What's your name? Albert Groves. Oh, Mr. Groves, my name is Deputy Claverice. Nice to meet you. Oh, I'm terribly sorry that happened to you. Um, would you like to come back to the office? I can take your statement and we can see if we can't find these individuals. I'm just, I'm just a little scared to, to, to be seen in the in the law office because they, they told me to. If I went to the, the law department to tell them that I, I fell off a cliff and and it, it sounded like there might be trouble if they if if they found out that I reported them. All right. Um, could, could I I could it be an, an, an anonymous report? Well, we're, if we encounter them, we're certainly not going to tell them that you are the person who reports it. We don't give names out to those people. So if, if that helps, they're, they're, I just I'm just worried that maybe they'll go harming others in town. It was quite a a scary ordeal. It, it sounds like it was a scary ordeal, especially where they took you out to a cliffside. Where, where was the cliffside they took you to? Um, if you head out of town and you cross the the train tracks, it's that it's the that first one you can see on the hill there. The one that's headed towards if you were to leave past the telegram station. Yes, yes. So they kept you very close to town. Well, I, it was, I was walking back up the street from the train station. Yes, they, they, they stopped me there. Right, can you remember anything about their appearance, how they looked or their horses? It was, it was at night time, so it was a bit hard to... It was a bit hard to see, but one, I believe, was bald. Uh, he had like a, a bushy moustache. And I believe he had a bit more of a tanned complexion. And then the other gentleman, uh, he, he seemed to have a lighter complexion. He wore a hat. And I believe he just had some unkempt mutton chops. And I, do, I, I don't know, but he may have mentioned his name was... Uh, Oliver or Oscar Wiggly or something to that effect. He said something like, now, if you go to the law department, you better not tell them that Oscar Wiggly did this. And I said, no, I, I, I fell off a cliff. It's, it's fine. All right. And what did they take from you? They took $40. Right, you've got some bruising. Did they hit you or hurt you? Well, they they told me to to pick one of them to to fight, and they said if I if I won the fist fight, they would give me back my forty dollars as well as an additional twenty. And so I I I picked one of them, and I think I chose Paulie. I, I thought I was doing all right, you know, growing up. In England, you know, working in London, there was a few times he had to, I had to defend myself, but but he, he got the best of me. And which one was it that you picked? Uh, I think it was the bald one. I, I, I can't be sure. All right, and then did they bring you back to town or did they leave you there? 
I asked them politely if I could please be taken taken to the doctor and they 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 dumped me on the street on on the corner. Ah, uh, yes, I believe um, this gentleman was accosted by two individuals. I believe one of them might be one we're looking for. I see. So I was just taking a statement so that we can put it with our other information, see if we can't find these people. Okay. Um, I'll let the others know that you're taking a statement and come back. All right. They were... When they left you in the street, which direction did they go? Oh, I think they... Oh, good. I think they... I think they left the same way we came in. But they headed back towards the train station. But I can't... I can't be sure. I was very woozy at the time. And it, it wasn't until some other people came and picked me up. And a, a, a nice gentleman, he took me to the bathhouse and got me cleaned up and... But it's hard to remember everything. That's all right. That's all right. You've already told me a whole lot of information. I think I know who we might be looking for. So it's Let's just frustrating. We can find them. I they 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 didn't even wear a mask or anything. So I could I could probably recognize them. But it's just because it was night time and everything happened so fast. I just I I just can't I just can't think of any details. That's all right. That's all right. All right. If I could just get your your name, for, it's it's only going to go in the report. Again, it's not something that we're going to make any mention to them about. Um, already looking for these people. Um, well, I, I suppose it's there, there was a few people they. Uh up on the hill well, because we was right up on the hill within you know and anyone traveling along, along the road could have seen us there was actually a few people down down below and they were scared that that they were watching them and they the only other name they mentioned is that they saw one person down there and they seemed they were they, they sort of said something along the effects of is that drew peters is he watching us um and that was the man that actually Picked me up off the street later and took me to the bathhouse. But uh, sorry, I digress. Uh, Albert Groves is my name. Right, and what's your telegram number, Mr. Groves? Is VM eight zero eight. All right. Have you had the opportunity to see a doctor? Well, uh, Drew Peters took me to the doctor's office and unfortunately there was no staff available but he uh he got me to s sniff some salt or something all right and that that really perked me up and i've just sort of been on the mend since then all right well if for any reason you um for any reason uh, you think of anything else to be added to the statement do let us know um we will be looking for these people and see if we can't get them put behind bars. Thank you very much. I, I, I appreciate your help. It's. I wish I, I. I wish I could remember more, but I just. I can't. That's all right. That's all right. You've been through quite an ordeal. All right. Um, I would definitely say if you do feel poorly still, reach out to the medic tip line and see about seeing a doctor. I believe there are a couple of doctors on duty at this time. I think I will. I just, I still feel a little dizzy. I'm a little bit hesitant to right. jump on my horse and ride back to St. Denis. So I, uh, what, what is the tip line just medic? Yes. If you just send it to medic and, and let them know where you are, they, they probably will come right to this medical office as long as they're not in the midst of treating another patient. Like, you shouldn't have to to uh, ride all the way to St. Denis. All right. I might I might you know, slowly walk down and, and send that off. I, I wasn't out aware I could do that. Thank you very much. Oh, yes, absolutely. And, and if you have any other questions, anything else comes up, you can send a tip into uh, the law department, but just send it to law. Thank you, ma'am. I really appreciate that. Yes, of course, of course. All right. Will you be safe out there? Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What? Me. 
Good day. How are we doing today? Oh, I've been better. Yourself? No, I'm doing just fine. That was just fine. Hello, Kultari. How are you? Lame. You want to you be a doctor, right? What? Pardon? Are you, are you a doctor? Oh, no. No, I, I just started my training with the Transit Authority yesterday. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. All right. But you don't... Uh, you don't have any cocaine, right? Co-co-what? Co cocaine. Can you give me a voice, Jam? Uh... No, I have no, nothing of that description at all. God damn it. All right. All right, well, you have a good day. All right. Take Sorry care. I couldn't be of any help. No, it's, it's, it's all right. It's not like I need it. It's not, not, not like I need it. Oh, I'm carrying too much stuff. El Lamo? <laughs> How you been, Kotari? Kotari, are you going to PAX this year? You finally coming to PAX? Or are you gonna are you gonna stay home again? Huh? Huh? Whiskey! This has been quite the eventful day for Albert Groves. Oh my god. Hell no! Oh, Kortari! Well, I hope you've been well anyway. You still smashing out Rainbow Six and that? Yo, Dome! I had a quick look at my phone because I saw it on a notification. You're asking how do you... How do you get into Wild? I'm going to South Australia for a friend's B-Day in December, so no money. Ah. Oh. Well, that'd be nice. Friend's B-Day, that'd be nice. Yeah, Dick, uh, Dome, you, um... Uh, yeah, through their website, you, you do a written application, so you need to, um... Uh, you've got a... Yeah, they've got a bunch of things you need to fill out, like, uh... Like, some questions regarding the rules. Um, you got to give some information on sort of like the characters you play, um, your understanding of RP, just just a bunch of stuff like that. And then you submit that. And then um, you wait to hear back from them and you go from there. Um, I was very fortunate that um, my application process was approved first go um which was very cool to learn i was like oh that made me that made me feel nice <laughs> there are definitely there are definitely some um there are definitely some people that, um, that, yeah, they, they just think very black and white, and it's just a lot of, like, jumping to violence and shenanigans. Yo, Dross, how you doing? Richard Dome in the house. Oh, hello. But I'm glad Siege is still going well for you, Kortari. If anyone... 
for anyone that doesn't know, Cortari is scary good at Rainbow Six Siege. She's a professional gamer. Is there a chair out here? I thought there was a bench. Ah, oh, the old server restart. Things going, still going well for the Redcoats. Druss? Oh. Your characters are always fun, Dome. Eh! <laughs> eh! <laughs> So fucking funny, dude. Absolute hoot. Even I'm even yeah, your Leon character was really great. So I don't know what's gonna happen with, with all this. So we've told Drew Peters as much as we can remember. He might be hunting down these two guys as we speak. And then I didn't realize she was with the law department. And we've so we've told the law department as well. And and they it seems these two people are already wanted for stuff. So we've just added fuel to the fire. So there's like there might be the law department Andrew Peters hunting these guys down. And I hope they don't find out that Albert told the two parties that we might have a bit of trouble. <laughs> eh? You want to buy some cheese? <laughs> so we started off with a hiss and a roar. Had 12 of us redcoats in there. Then the boys all went back to 5 which was a shame. Ah! So I'm part of another faction now, but still tra staying true to Kai's character. Oh, man. Ah. Uh, sometimes I'll... Sometimes I think. I'll be like, do I want to give 5M a go? And I'm like, nah. I'll, I'm like, if anything, I'll stick with Red M as long as I can. And then when RP servers happen with um the next GTA, I think then I'll try it. I'm going to wait till then, I think. Oh, so funny, Dome. So funny. But you're so you're gonna you're gonna apply for Wild RP. Give it a go. It'd be great to see a familiar a familiar face. That's what's been really exciting about trying the server is that um, I don't I don't really directly know anyone on the server. So there, there is, there is, in a sense, there is no safety net. Um, I don't know anyone. And they don't know me either. So yeah, it's very, it's very genuine. And it's, it's like, yeah, I have no idea, like no idea what to expect, which is, which is, which is interesting. Trying not to think next. Let me just check the Discord. Let me see if there's any um any updates on um no. There still doesn't seem to be anyone doing transit stuff. Hmm. Just trying to think what to do next. So much has happened. But yeah, there doesn't seem to be any transit training happening today. So maybe go do some... 
Go do some work on the farm. Looks like the law department's heading Adam. out. Still no master bathers around. You know what, it is really challenging today, like, trying not to laugh, like, especially when dealing with Drew Peters. Holy crap. So, so tough not to laugh. A doctor, eh? Leviticus Schmidt. Wolf Creek, that's, um, that's the one I saw gold in that on recently, right? I don't know if there's anything else happening in Valentine right now. Unless someone's in the bathhouse, or unless we got a telegram, we might just we might just go do some uh, farm chores, earn back that uh, earn back that forty dollars. But I might have to put some of this stuff away, some of the stuff I don't need right now. Probably should buy a gun sometime soon. Also. Oh yeah, there's not much. Oh, you can only have one equipped at a time. One or the other. German and Irish background dome. Oh my god. What was it? Egocentric semi mad doctor. <laughs> mad doctor looking to further the medical studies. That sounds great. I still haven't read the paper. Is that like update or do you have to buy it? He will be doing experiments, willing or unwilling, on the people of Wolf Creek. <laughs> oh my god. Huh. Let's see how much the average gun is.
Now uh, the old cattleman's $24 does. <laughs> Wilfred D Force. Well, what what would Wilfred be about? <laughs> so we'll just because Albert's a he doesn't have a lot of money and he's doesn't know a lot about guns. Then we'll just get the cheap. Assuming handgun ammo for all handguns. Oh, it's literally you buy per buying each bullet. Right, okay. So then you need a you need a gun belt. Or something, I think someone mentioned. I'm not sure how all that works. How are you? I hear the railroad companies are talking about breaking up. Ain't the first time. All right, let's check the telegrams one more time. If there's nothing going on there, we might Listen. go do... Just some, um... Chores around the farm. Just get a little bit of money. I'm going belly up. Hello? A doctor would be very interesting to try. I don't... I don't know if I'd ever try a doctor myself, because I just don't... I've just never had the mind to, to remember, you know, medical stuff. Like, I'm just a bit clueless. I'm like, huh? It's, I'd, I think I would really struggle to keep up. Hello, Ariel. Unfortunately, um, um, it didn't end up, uh, so we tried to find, just couldn't find the information about where it was taking place, so I missed it. Um, so unfortunately we didn't get to do any auditions, but, uh, yesterday we did the interview, um, and the first training session for the Transit Authority. I uh, haven't had any luck with that today. It seems that everyone's busy from that group. Uh, but a bunch of other stuff has happened for sure. But we did also get another lead to hopefully do some other auditions. So there is still hope yet for Albert Groves to one day do theater stuff. Howdy, Rando. How you doing? 
We uh yeah, we bumped into a, a nice young lady in Saint Denis at the start of the stream. And we uh seemed like she was going through a bit of a rough time, so we had a bit of a chat to her. Um and her husband owns the um the Saint Denis Theatre. So I was like, oh yeah, you I know, told her my story and um she got my telegram number, so they might reach out if there's anything suitable. Fine and dandy like sour candy and yourself. I'm good. Just chilling this... This fine, um... This fine Sunday. We've had a real time today. Uh, Albert Groves got robbed for the first time. And it was very funny. And we've met some very... Some very, um, interesting characters. Uh, I write them down. Um, I'm, I'm, I've got to get a notepad and pen for my desk again. But I just, I just use the notes section on my phone and then I go and put them in as, uh, contacts in the, at the telegram station. Because everyone's got, it's like two letters and then three numbers. Oh. Oh dear. Okay, let's get you inside. <laughs> okay. I just say, I can't find my pen and paper. Why do I get changed again? Just in the... Might just... Go to the tailor. Right, let's head out to Emerald. It was very funny, Ariel. Yesterday we met the uh, the staff of the Valentine Bathhouse, um, the master bathers, if you will. <laughs> it was a hoot. Uh, you can pay $200 to get the best bathing experience there. That's, that's, and that, that was her words, not mine. She's like, hi, yes, I'm, uh, one of the master bathers here. <laughs> it was fantastic. Oh, those are good, Rando. It, it, it was, it's been like today and yesterday, it's been really hard to stay composed. It's been really hard to not just burst out laughing while I'm trying to speak in character. It's been a challenge. There's some people that really, they're really catching me off guard. Been good. Oh, dude, R Richard Dome would fit right in with some of the people I've, I've met today and yesterday. He would fit right in. Not to not to say he doesn't fit in on Diablo, but you, you know what I mean. Like in in a way, I was. I was concerned that um, 
people would be, like, characters would be too serious on this server. That's just sort of an idea I had in my head based on the application process and everything. But it's been really nice to see that there's a lot of silliness as well. A lot of comedy, which is great. Unfortunately, we have not, um... We have not come across Butcher again. A whole bunch of people we've met before. We haven't, um... We haven't run into them again. Which is a shame. I'm not sure if there's anyone I've bumped into twice yet. If I'm remembering correctly. Phoenix Montana, that name rings a bell. I wish I had I wish I had some good advice for you. Rando, I I don't Like sometimes people will ask or I'll think, you know, why why do I how can I do a bunch of voices and stuff? And it really I think it comes down to uh, watching lots of Looney Tunes as a kid. I think that's where it started. That's that's all folks. Yeah, what's up, Doc? I didn't I think, I think it all started, yeah, just watching too much Looney Tunes as a kid. I think. Yo, Phoenix. Yo, Dobby. G'day, g'day. The farm stream was great. Oh, Ariel, you gotta see... You gotta check out earlier in this stream, in the VOD. Like, when I visit the bathhouse. And then also when I get robbed. You're gonna you're gonna lose your shit, and then and also yesterday's vod when I visited the bathhouse as well. Oh my god, you're gonna you're gonna lose. It's yeah, it's good. It's very it's very funny. Well, it's it's worked well for your dome because cannot tell that you had a lisp at all from from what I can recall hearing you in character, and then also when we spoke in Melbourne last year. That's rough, man. Um, there's a there's a client that we help weekly at the radio station. Um, that comes in every Friday afternoon to record some reports that then play on air on the weekend, and um, he deals with a lisp. Um, What's your name? Hello, me? Say that again for me. Uh, Albert Groves. Albert Groves. That's a strong name. I'm gonna put my horse up here. Thank Albert you. Groves, are you a rancher? Uh, well, no, I just, I just help out on the farms every now and then. Albert Groves. Just to make a little... Funky. Just make a little you pocket money. You considered a life of crime, Albert Groves. Oh no, I, I recently just started uh, training with the Transit Authority yesterday. God damn it! Oh, you have such character. Oh, what a shame. But I'm Ernie. Annie. Pleasure to make your acquaintance, Ernie. Ernie. Like Ernest. 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah, now that's yeah, a good yeah, strong yeah, yeah. name as well. Thank you, name. thank you. You have a good strong name as well. I have a good strong name. We can bond over that. Oh, uh, you, see, I, I'm, I'm assuming that you're probably uh, pretty new around the crossing, huh? Oh, very new. Very new. I'm fresh off the boat from London. I'm from London too. That's oh! Crazy. Wonderful. Oh, extra, extra wonderful to meet you then. Extra doubly wonderful, yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, we're not gonna rob you, um, and you don't want a life of crime. But I hope one day I see you on a train, maybe. Oh, th thank you. 
Yeah, you're welcome. Remember this kindness one day. Oh, have a lovely evening. Oh my god. Oh my god. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Well, we're not going to rob you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Fucking hell. <laughs> the criminals are out today. <laughs> Holy crap. My God. Goodness gracious. Hey, hey, kid. You into crime? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I, yeah, I feel like there's a very good chance. Nearly got robbed again. Ernie. Sorry, Ernie. I... Ernie. I love, love the accent. Um, All right, what are we doing? We've got to milk some cows, sheep some... Oh, sheep. Shear some sheep. Got to sheep some shears. And we've got to feed some chickens. All right. Uh, it looks like people are over in the chicken pen now. Let's go milk some cows, eh? And hopefully we don't run into any more trouble. Oh, my God. Yeah, honestly, thinking about it, I don't think... I don't think there's any character I've come across twice yet. Like, everyone, we've, we've just met them once. Because it's just... There's a lot of people. Whew! <laughs> I'm feeling kind of tuckered out, like the... Like the amount of interactions we've had... Tonight. Like, I'm like, I'm feeling it. I'm like, oh my god. Like, I'm looking at the... Over at OBS, I'm like, I haven't... I've only been live just for three hours. I'm like, it feels like I've been live for, like, six hours. I'm like, I'm getting worn out with all this. Roleplay is so hard, you guys. Like, I'm, I'm feeling worn out. I'm feeling really worn out, you know? <laughs> Havana, Montana? Mon Havana, Montana? Thank you for the follow. Havana? It's only 12.30 here. I'm just sort of playing it by ear. Like, I like to at least stream each time for a couple of hours. But I'm... Yeah, I just want to make... I just want to make sure I'm making the most of... Um... Like, the peak hours. Because, yeah, with the time difference, during the day here is when all the... The Americans and that are on, so. And it's just exciting, because it's just, it's, like, playing with a lot of primarily overseas people, it's just different. Like, yeah, you, you really don't know what you're going to get, which is really exciting. Like, I feel, in a, in a way... I feel like I'm outside my comfort zone. In a, in a way, which is which is good. Where's my light? I'm trying to trying to tweak my webcam settings and my lighting set up. I just don't know if I've made it better or worse. Does the webcam look alright? Does, like, do the colours look right? And the contrast and everything? I'm always second-guessing my setup. Whew. I'm 
looks, I think the, like the whites look right. Really? I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I don't know. I don't know. All right, that is the milk done. Uh, sheep shearing. Sheep shearing. I think that's over there. Did someone just call for help? Over here. Where are you? To your right. Am I going the right way? Oh, I see you. Hold on, I'm coming. Uh, are you all right? Yeah, yeah, one of those fucking bulls just headbutt me. Yeah. Holy Jesus. Yep. Do you want me to get you out of this pen? I think, I think, I think that might be better for your own safety. Those fucking bulls are crazy. All right, hold on. I'm going to get you out of here. <sighs> Hopefully they don't charge me on the way to the gate. Appreciate it, partner. Hold on. There's just one's, one's looking mm. at me in the gate. Oh, it's looking away. Okay. The coast. I think I've got a window to get out of here. I think so, too. I'm gonna get you over to the house. Appreciate it. Not quite sure. We're maybe just here. Wait, what are you doing here? Oh. Anyway, it's fine to be honest. I don't. I don't think this. Good. Uh, oh. oh, hey! Oh, no hey. shit! Ah. You're a dead oh. man. You hear me? Stop that! Stop! I'm just helping this poor fellow out. He's been charged by a bull. Now you back the bloody hell off! Stop that! Hey! I said stop it! The hell is his problem? Not taking any more crap like that today! Oh my... Bloody... Are you alright? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. Right, let's get you... Let's get... Let's get you some help. Uh, appreciate it, partner. Sorry about that. I didn't realize he would take such offense. Let's get you on some nice soft grass. Yeah, guys. Guy was a dickhead. It's all good. Oh. You just need him under this tree. All right, let's put you down. Oh. All right, can you feel your legs? Yeah, yeah. I just, I think I have like a bruised rib or something. Is there anything I can do for you? Uh, 
I think I think if you just help me get on my feet, I should be okay. All right. Just walk it off, you know. All right, come on, grab holes. I'll help you out. Just lean lean on me if you need to. All right, come on now, up you get. Uh, uh. You don't happen to have any smelling salts, do you? Maybe those will give me a kick. No, I, I don't believe I do. I a, a fellow had to use some of his own for to help me earlier. I, I don't think I have any. Shit. Uh. Yeah, I think I might need some smelling salts to get back on my feet. Where, where, where will I get some of these smelling salts? Nearest town is probably going to be Valentine. Goodness gracious. Do you, do you want me to... Do you have a horse? Yes. I mean, if it's not too much trouble... What's no, the no. No, if, I, if, if I'd been charged by a bull, I'd be hoping someone would help me out as well. Where is that? Old? Where is he? Just not sure where my horse is. Come on, where are you? Oh no. What? Hold on, I, I think I can hear my horse, but I can't see. I'm just going to check around the farm. I'll be right back. No worries. I'm not going anywhere. I swear I can hear it galloping. Is it under the ground? Maybe I'll go to the stable. I fear something horrible has happened with the horse. Oh, this is just for what? Oh, over there. There you are. Growler. What are you doing? Where you been? Gotta help this guy. <laughs> He's still alive. Man. I found him! Nice. Excellent. Alright, hold on. I'm gonna get you up. Get you onto the back of the horse. Easy. Mm. We'll get you into Valentine in no time at all. Just hold on. I appreciate it, Gordon. Not a problem. Happy to help. What's your name again? Albert Groves, at your service. It's the Groves. And what about you? Do you remember? Do you remember yours? <laughs> yeah, oh, I didn't hit my head, just my, uh, just my chest, I guess. Santino Ticenzo. Nice to meet you, Santino. It's really hard to remember everyone's names. It's really hard. What were you doing out there in Emerald Ranch anyway? You doing some, some work? Yeah, it's just helping out with some chores, just to earn a bit of extra money while while I wait for more training with the Transit Authority. Mm. Yeah, they pay well up in Emerald, that's for sure. 
I do. I just, yeah, I thought I'd have a bit of a nice, relaxing day out on the on the ranch. But that's all right. The chores will still be there when we get back. Yeah, yeah. You know, I've found it's the groves that the more one desires to have a quiet, relaxing day, the less the less probable it becomes. <laughs> After the day I've had, I've definitely. I don't believe that. Yeah, uh, something, something else happened beside you fighting my ass on the ground. Oh. Yes. Let's just say I was hoping to not go back to Valentine today, but duty calls. Uh, well. Assuming you got some, uh. The, the bad types around there. Yeah, there has been definitely some bad types around Valentine today. And some and some and some crazy ones too. Yeah, Valentine has had that reputation for years. <laughs> At least the crazy types. We're just coming over the ridge now into Valentine. We're almost there. He got uh, charged by a bull Ariel. It's a Santino. I can't really catch his last name. So he's the. He's... Yep, smells like Valentine. <laughs> yes, we're going up the street now. <laughs> Just gonna easy boy, easy. There we go. Mm. Right. Is there a doctor in the house? Hello? No, no doctor. There's nobody here. We're, nobody we're, here. You're, you're There's the best taking them somewhere doctors. else. Local doctors, there are plenty of local doctors here. Just call Dr. Aurelius. Dr. Uh, Kill Kenson is in there. There's plenty of local doctors and nurses here. Don't I just need time. some smelling salts to get something. me on my feet. I should be okay with a local doctor here, Gross. All right, well, All right. Uh, just here at the bench, the register. Yeah, that's fine. I assume so. Do I need to... All right, I'm looking for the vein on the recipient. You're doing fine? Okay, good. What else can I do to help Santino? Well, let's see if there's damage to right. arteries. On the, yeah, I prefer people not. Um, just as soon as you can leave, as soon as you can. Yep, I'm done. I've got a head injury in here. Thank you. If you, could, if you could buy some small assaults here, Groves, I'll, right. I'll, I'll, pick you, I'll pay you back. It looks just, like it's all right. just one second to yeah, then let yeah. go of that tube. So, so it is actually something you can buy? Nice one. Check or am I, am I pretending there. to buy it? You know, let's see if it's am a, I pretending to buy it? Give that up a check in a moment. I'm I don't know how it works. Muscle damage. I bet this wound closed up. Toot sweet. Okay. I'm terribly sorry, Santino. I've never done this before. I hope I'm doing it right. I, th I think I saw a gentleman early. He cracked it open right, and then held it under the nose. I'm just gonna. Yeah. Just gotta find the right ones, you know. I don't know. They sell you this pouch, and it's usually full of different types. Oh, I, I actually have to buy a pouch? Yeah, yeah, I, uh. A medical bag. A me oh, medical bag, right. Sorry. Order up. Let me give you a hand there so you two can clear out of here. Yeah, thank you. So I have no idea what I'm doing. I, I, I need to run over to the bank to get $10. Yeah. So I, that's all right. Just don't worry about I'm it. still waiting to make sure that I got his vein. Appreciate yeah. it, Ranger, sir. Gotcha.
Okay. And unpinch the tube, and the counter starts. Perfect. Well done. I'm gonna keep a monitor on there. See how they're going. There's hopefully some change in their vitals there. All right. Three minutes in counting. Don't know if you can hear me, sir, but doing our best for you. Aye, you've been really strong, very strong. Yeah, it's doing great considering. Doctor, how are we going with those uh, those fractures here? And Ernest, Ernest, you're doing great too, by the way. Ernest is a champion. I mean, champion. Oh, jeez. How did I get called a champion? Very well. Is that Ernie? Right. Is that Ernie getting treated over there? Alright, one minute down. Doctor, yes. Get up. It's been a long time since I've seen you around, but I don't know if you need to hear this or not. But, uh, Dr. Croom would be proud. There you go. Dr. Croom would be proud. Oh. All right, gentlemen. Appreciate it, partner. Thank you. All right. Two minutes down. There we go, Santina. You got you back on your feet. Uh, yeah, we did. Thanks. Thanks, Groves. I appreciate it. No worries. Do you need a... Oh! You're... I'm okay. Do you need a ride busy. back to the ranch? No, I should be okay. I should be able to find my way from here, Gross. Thank you. No problem. Happy to have. It's good meeting you. Good to meet you, too. We've done our good deed for the day. Yeah, <laughs> it's like... Bonk. I swear I heard Ernie getting treated. Like, what happened to them? Did they go to rob someone and it did not go well? Also, if we can knock over the rest of this chore. Oh! Oh! Shit! Oh no! Uh, I think I can see there is a, um,. There is a train heading around. So I'll knock, knock over the rest of this. Yeah, I have no idea how the... The medical stuff, like the smelling salts and that work, I'm like, I don't know if it's just, they're pretending to do it, and then it just coincides with, you know, the timer for when they can get back up, or if it's like actual item, it sounds like you gotta get the medical bag, and there's actually stuff inside it. Like, I have no idea how that works. I don't know what I'm doing. I just want to shear the sheep. Lucky I heard him. I yeah, I almost I almost didn't hear you, him calling out for help. Whenever that happens, it always reminds me of um it cracks me up. It reminds me of that Simpsons episode where uh, Skinner gets stuck in the garage. Like all the, the all the stacks of newspapers fall on him. And he's trapped there for like days and <laughs> they're like the police and that are searching the house and he's yelling like I'm, oh, I'm in here and they're like no no one here I guess we'll go 
It's so, it just it cracks me up every time. Alright, sheep. It's shearing time. You crazy bastards. Gonna make a gonna make a sweater out of ya, eh? Hey. Hey. Yeah. Come here. Give me the wool. Give me the wool and no one gets hurt. Thank you. How many sheep do I need to shear? Just two. Oh, I still gotta milk four more cows. Alright, we'll do it. Well, if the. Ch oh. Now, is this the NPC that gets aggressive about the chi the chickens? Or is this a... I think it's a player. Good day! Hey, now. Oh. I'm supposed to be here. Fuck you, man. I'm... Get on out of here now. I have every right to be here helping on this ranch. This is what you get. You get... never should have messed with us. Hey! Now, back the... Back the hell up! Oh, oh my god! Fuck! Fuck you, Looper! Thank you for the resub. We're trying it. We're trying to feed the chickens. You can do better. No! <laughs> by the chicken man. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Come on, man. I want to wrap up the chore because there's a train. We can do more training. <laughs> no! <laughs> Hello, but hello, Looper. How are you? They are Hammer. <laughs> he's a he's a well. Oh, he's like an he's like a he's like a boss battle. Come on, he's like a raid boss. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell! And we can't we can't call out for help for three minutes. <laughs> You doing well? Stuck at work today? Sunday rates though, right? As I'm glad to hear it's been chill. Oh, hello, Rust Tank. Just have to lie there and think about your decisions. I just wanted to feed the chickens. Just wanted to feed the chickens. I should have. I should have. I just I wanted to. I wanted to role play it out. <laughs> Maybe Santino will, because <laughs> Santino's coming back, right? <laughs> He'll come by and be like, help! <laughs> He's like, hey, Groves, like, what are you doing? I just saw you back in town. What, what did the bull charge you as well? Like, no, I got, <laughs> I got knocked out by the chicken man. <laughs> help! <laughs> you fuck! <laughs> I'm good, Rust Tank. It's just, it was a bit, we, we had a lot happen before <laughs> and then it got a bit quiet. So I just wanted to do some uh, chores on the farm just to earn a bit of money, kill a bit of time. And then I really wanted to get it done because there's a train uh, on the heading around the country at the moment. 
And I just started my training for that yesterday. So I need to be doing ride-alongs every chance I get. So I was like, okay, let's smash out the rest of the chores and go find the train. Now I gotta wait for this because the chicken man's too def too defensive. <laughs> I was having fun at the ranch the other night and playing chicken with the bulls. Loop, that's too dangerous. Gazozo, no. <laughs> But I hope you've been well, Russ Tank. Oh. Oh, dear. Russ Tank, you... Correct me if I'm wrong. You play... Miss Lily, right? On Diablo, right? Am I remembering correctly? Or have I got it around the right? Yeah. I'm very sorry for your loss. I heard. I heard about what happened. I'm terribly sorry. Death to Chicken Man. <laughs> I can imagine so, Rust Tank. Jeb was one of the was one of the good ones. You can't replace a guy like Jeb. <laughs> Those, but that was yeah. That was uh, I'm, I. I was watching. I popped into, uh, I think, Looper or Dill or someone's stream real quick. And, yeah, they were talking about someone had died. And I was like... And then I heard someone say something like, Miss Lily's really upset or something. And I was like, oh, no. No. So I figured it was Jeb. It's that it sucks to hear. Jeb Jeb was always not not only one of the best lawmen to to RP with, but just one of the best human, one of the best humans to RP with on the server as well. He didn't even warn you out of character. So upset she blew someone's head off? Really? Really? Oh, we can call for help. Cry for help. Nearby travelers will telegram the law, medics, and rangers. Officials will need to search the area to find you. This does not guarantee you will be found. Oh, man. Well, please. If anyone would like to give me an update on what happened, please feel free to tell me now because we have time <laughs> while we wait for potential help. Might get fired. Oh, it was very satisfying. What? Oh, please, please tell me, please. Oh, I'm, I want to know what happened with, who did Lily, what happened with Lily after Jeb died? Jeb rip, Lily Angie, gun go bang. Thank you for killing one second, Kazozo. The cults, a gang that hate the law, shot him up. We went after the cults last night. They were in the cell. Oh, Kazozo! So Biggie. Um, I went to come uh, feed some chickens, but one of the ranch hands is very uh, protective, and he um he knocked me out, and so now we got to wait for help. We caught three of them, and the leader was mouthing off. Good on you, good on your rust tank. Good on ya. Oh. Hell yeah. He said he was happy Jeb was dead. And he was going to come for us one by one and put us in graves next to him. He was going to... T oh, my God. <gasps> no!
No! Help! Help! We're back. Okay. I can't believe that he was saying that he was happy Jeb was dead. Yeah, I can imagine, like, hearing that, like, something like that after that ordeal, I cannot... I can't blame you for then emptying a lot of bullets in um in a lot of people. I used illegal sawn off shotguns. <laughs> Just blow them all to hell. <laughs> oh man. Well, I hope. I hope Lily will be okay. What a bunch of bastards. Sounds like it. A whole therapy session? Oh. Oh. Jeez. Because, yeah, there was so much that went on with um, Lily and Jeb. Didn't Lily and Jeb only just get married, like, last week? If I'm remembering correctly, from what I saw. They have? Oh. Four weeks ago. Oh. Oh. Right. Time flies. So what is it? It's eight minutes until I can recover at the shelter. Oh. Help. <coughs> help. Oh, God, please, somebody help me. Help. Oh, please. I see you. I see you. <laughs> Careful, the man, the chicken man, he may still be around. You got punched out by the chicken man? Yes. All right. Oh, God, it's good to see a was friendly like face. The local was it the local chicken man? I think so. I just, I came up to the fence to say, hey, look, I'm happy to jump in and help for a little bit. And he's like, get out of here. And he came over and he... And he clocked me. Oh, dear. All right. Well, let's see what you got. Just going to check you over, sir. No problem. I'm just, I'm just so thankful that someone found me. Yes. Don't worry. I was actually uh, just up by our Emerald Tower when uh, uh, somebody uh, called for help. Oh, thank goodness. I just, I just wanted to help out with some of the chores around here while I was waiting for more. Transit Authority Training. Ah, uh, well, uh, welcome to the crossing. Um, hope you're having fun time at transit. Uh, I'm just going to check over your injuries. My name's Alex. I'm a ranger. Uh, I am so sorry this happened. Nice to meet you, Alex. My name's Al <laughs> Albert Groves. Well, nice to meet you, Mr. Albert. Just going to take a look and see what uh, type of injuries you got here. <laughs> we got bruises on bruises now. Ooh, a dark lily arc rust tank. Just gonna make sure there's no deformities to your face since you look like you got a lot of bruising to it. It's it's been a rough day. I this is actually the second beating I've received today. That is highly unfortunate, sir. I'm so sorry to hear that. It's all right. I went and purchased myself a, a, a revolver in, in case of next time. I, 
Last thing I want to do is shoot a man protecting the chickens. That is fair enough, sir. <laughs> All right. I'm going to help you up here, okay? Thank you. Up you go. Uh, uh, do you feel like your face is broken at all? I just feel a little embarrassed, to be honest. All right, well, hey, that's fair. Uh, that is fair enough. Just a little, a little, a little dizzy. Oh, good, it looks like we've got company. Sorry. Howdy. <laughs> I was wondering if you've seen anybody, uh, three individuals, ranches, um, sort of coming through here, perhaps some goats in the back of their horses? And maybe last mm -hmm. ten minutes or minutes, something like that. Oh. Goats in the back, because that's illegal. I know, I'm just... Oh. Right. Have you seen... I don't know, sorry, but have you seen any, any ranches around here? Uh, I personally have. Uh, I've been okay. up at the Emerald Tower up until uh, this fine gentleman uh, called for help. Okay. Uh, Thank you very much. We're gonna get going. Get all right. You be safe. Alrighty then. Is there anything else I can do for you? Oh no, no. I just, I just need to see to the rest of these chores and then hopefully get some more training in. With the Transit Authority. All right. All right. Sounds good. Okay, if you feel like your face is broken, if you lost consciousness or anything like that, do go see a doctor. Okay? Definitely overdue after today. But I really oh. appreciate your help. I was... Everything was getting a bit dark and fuzzy there. I was fearing the worst. All right. That sounds completely fair. All right, then, sir. You have a wonderful day, okay? Thank you, miss. Thank you very much. Careful with balls. <laughs> oh my god, a dark lily arc resulting in her becoming a sheriff. And then and then upholding the memory of Jeb. That'd be amazing. Fired for corruption? What? Because Zozo mentioned earlier that there's some... Something is afoul with the Diablo RP Law Department. What the heck is going on? The fuck are y'all doing, huh? <laughs> also, Looper? Launch time? Nice. How long be streaming for? Well, considering I need to get these um, chores done... And then I want to get, hopefully, can fit in some more transit authority training. At least another couple of hours. No corruption or you lose your character. Holy crap, when did that come about? Oh, fuck, no! <laughs> this fucking goat. It's, I get what you mean there. There's like, there's corruption and then there's corruption. You get out of here, you damn goat. But yeah, generally it's, you want to be thinking about uh, what's, what's best for the story of not just yourself, but yeah, everyone that will be involved. So that's, that's always the, the right call. And, so, and whatever's 
you know, it's good, but it's also fair. Come on, you damn chickens. Like, I remember when, when Diablo RP first started last year, um, myself and the other OG law players were, were told very clearly, they're like, do whatever you want, just no corruption. And they, their reasoning was they're all like, this is coming from Prem and the other um, admins and staff at the time. They're basically like, look, we've come from, um, we've come from a lot of, other servers where just corruption just gets out of hand and it just kind of ruins everything. So they're like, just please no, no corruption. And we're like, yep, cool. But that was last year. Yo, Descendant. Thanks for the resub, mate. 50 months. That's insane. Are these chickens not eating? That's insane, man. I'm going all right, dude. Just having some fun with some RP today. How you doing? Oh, I see, Hammer. I see. Come on, eat. I think the chicken thing might be bugged. No, no master bather yet, Hagelarten. I have nothing but trouble with these damn chicken feeding missions. Let's reset it. Just vibing. You having a good? You've had a good weekend so far. Come on, chickens. None of them are coming over. Yo, Dave. Howdy, man. Heard people talking about Jam and thought I would drop by. Ah, it's all good, man. Like no one really did. No one really did. I. That, that, I, I, yeah, I needed to kick off the break ASAP that week. It's all good, man. N no one, no one got to say, say bye to Hughes. Yeah, I think this chicken feeding one is, is not going to work for me today. Because, yeah, you, you, you throw the feed into the area. And they come over and eat and the bar goes up. I don't think that's happening. That's all right, though, because we want to go and try and find this train anyway. That is fine. Bugger. That is a shame. All right. Let's go check the train schedule. I hope you've been well, Dave, apart from, uh... I don't gross. I've been better. <laughs> that must be Santino, he's back. He's back amongst it. <whistles> Work's going all right, Descendant. No, I was saying before, Dave, that Jeb was not only one of the best lawmen to RP with, but um, one of the best humans. <laughs> Fuck! 
I didn't see that cat. Uh, one of the best humans to RP with on the server. I didn't see the cat. Oh my god. I'm a monster. Hello. Hello. What do you want? RE705 Celia Worth All right. We have made contact with Miss Worth, so we can hopefully go meet her to do some train training. We're going to find the witch and resurrect Jeb. News story, zombie sheriff. <laughs> That'd be so cool. No, I don't I don't blame you though, Dave. Jeb was Jeb was fantastic. Now, Dave, I'll be seeing you at PAX, won't I? It's trying something new is exciting, isn't it, Dave? That's that's why I'm having so much fun with this. It's it's about as new as you can get. New character, new server. It's I am I am definitely out of my comfort zone, which is exciting. Yeah, oh yeah, Halloween's coming up. Yeah, man, I'll be around. I'll be keeping an eye out for you, for you and um, Lupa and a whole bunch of other folk. I'll be around. And then I should, I should be around Melbourne at the end of the year as well i just i'm still waiting to hear when my christmas leave will be but it would be wonderful to spend christmas and new years and and do a bunch of stuff in and around melbourne at the end of the year so that's that is the that is the current plan fingers crossed Yes, yes, they're very much looking forward to that. Very, um, very thankful to be uh, helping Shell Bunny as her co-host. Should be a good time. Yes, we must punish Dopey Dill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
bloody Yuri. Fucking Yuri. That son of a bitch. That motherfucker. <laughs> Let's just check the telegram again. Where did she say? Armadillo or... Uh, did she say Beaches Hope or something? I didn't catch it. Armadillo or Benedict Point. Benedict Point. Armadillo and Benedict Point. Armadillo and Benedict Point. Armadillo and Benedict Point. All right, let's get changed and let's get there. Uh... Oh dear. Is this a gang staring down the the law department? Am I okay to come through? Oh, baby. Where were all these people in Valentine before? Not a damn clue. I've been out we the just got into town. Right. Yeah. Well, thank y'all. By the sounds of it, it sounds like one of my recruits was held a hostage. Something's, something's happening. I just want to get changed. I don't want any trouble. Leave me alone. Oh, hello. Oh, you got some yard work, work Dave. Hope it goes well. Loved it. Glad. I don't know. Glad you're doing well. Uh, you have a. No, but are you? Good evening, how are you? Oh, uh, we are well. How are you? I've been better, but uh, it should be looking up. I'm uh, just on my way to do some more transit authority training. Oh, hell. Oh, okay. Uh, good luck with this. Thank you very much. Hopefully I, hopefully I get there in one piece. Uh, did I ever get your telegram, by the way? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, would you like it now? If you would give it, yes. Uh, VM808. Okay, I will remember this. Wonderful to see you again. I must, I must be off. Have a lovely day. Oh, of course. Uh, be safe. You look with your training. Thank you very much. Hopefully see you on a train soon. Oh man, just run into someone again. I don't have time. I'm gonna... I gotta be moving. To so Armadillo or... Was it Benedict Point? Where's Benedict Point? Oh, there. Oh, Armadillo first. Oh, we got a bit of a ride. Oh man, it would be nice to stop and chat, but... Like, I gotta get this training done when I can. I gotta remember, it seems there's a lot of exchanging of... ...telegrams. I gotta remember to be getting more... ...like, asking for theirs more. I keep... Ugh. Easy does it. Mm. 
Meow. Maybe I'll set the horse to autopilot just for a moment. Um, I'll just quickly get up and uh, get some... I've got some leftover pizza. I might quickly get some of that in the microwave just to something to eat. Eat because it has been a couple of hours. So I'll just quickly jump up and do that. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Pizza. Hurry, little microwave. Hurry. Eat the food. from the microwave no no you gotta be kidding me I just I literally just sat back down oh my god oh my god no oh man oh the puma or the was it cougar the cougar I just ah oh. Oh my god! Oh, dude! Oh my god! Um, that's what I get. That is what I get. At this point, I don't even know if Albert's even going to be well enough to go do training. Like, he's... He's been thrown around like a rag doll today. Oh man, I just I only put I only put the pizza in the microwave for two minutes, man. I thought that would be 
I thought there'd be plenty of time to quickly get back. Bruh. Bruh. Oh, man. Well, yeah, I, I definitely, um... I definitely have time to, um... Eat the pizza now. You are just the worst farmer. I was just riding. I'm riding out west to go and do some more... Training. And I, I went to go heat up some pizza. I just was heating up some pizza, man. I thought I'd get back in time. I just had it auto riding for a bit. I thought it would be fine. I thought it'd be fine. I didn't even have time to react because I was I'm walking back around my green screen with a hot plate of pizza. Oh my god. That's a That's annoying, but I it's that's what I get. I should have just cuz I was microwaving stuff, I should have just you know, lit up the pipe and sat inside a building or something for a, for a couple of minutes and then done it. Oh God! Howdy. <laughs> Am I glad to see you? A kitty, uh, kitty bothering you? Yeah, I was just riding along. I'm trying to head out west. And this, mm -hmm. this cat pounced on me. Yeah, I see it. It's dead now. Oh, thank God. Uh, you, you need a doc? How bad are you here? Well, I'm more embarrassed than anything. It, is, it knocked me off my horse and okay. scratched me around. It's not the worst beating I've had today. It's not. What's your name there, fella? Albert, Albert Groves. Albert Groves. I'm Deke. Nice to meet you, Deke. I wish the circumstances were a bit better. Um, yeah. You're uh, awful fancy. I'm from London. Well, I guess that explains it. Uh, how bad you hurt here, fella? You need anything bandaged up, or...? I think I really just... I may have received some scratches from the cat. All right. I got this... Uh, I I got this medical bag completely, um, legally. Um, I got a bottle here with uh, some skulls on it. Uh, this one's got a red skull. This one's got three X's. Um, this one's got three X's and a skull, which you want to see if these can help you feel a little better. I, I don't, I don't know if they, are they definitely medicine? Oh, uh, they were in the medical office, so yeah, right? I think. How about just a little water? Maybe get you on your feet. Maybe, maybe just a little water. I just... Uh, all right, here. 
I keep hearing about people rave on about these smelling salts. You wouldn't happen to have any of that, would you? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take a whiff of that. Oh, oh that's bad. Ah! Huh. Why are these salts so good? Why are they so good? I don't know. I wouldn't sprinkle any on my potatoes, though. It's pretty strong. I've never seen such a. We definitely didn't have anything like that back home, as far as I can tell. In, in old London town, huh? Yes, no, it's just go to the old doctor and hope for the best. What do you mean? Oh. Uh, what do you mean, um, hope for the best? So the doctor didn't do anything? He just, like, looked at you? Oh, they would just... They would, they would just try their best. Just sometimes it felt like going to see the doctor back in London was a waste of time. <laughs> Is your horse around, fella? Uh, old Growler should be near here. I, old Growler. I think he got a bit spooked by the cat. Give, give him a whistle, see if you... Growler! Growler, you there, boy? I thought that was your horse, and it was a pronghorn, and I didn't know that was a London thing. Oh, there you go. Growler! There he is, the old boy. Oh my goodness. It's all right, boy. We're going to be okay. There we go. What'd you, what'd you say your name was? I'm sorry. Uh, Albert Groves. Albert. I'm Deke. Thank you very much, Deke. And you're headed out. You're headed out west, or coming from out west? Uh, heading west. Um, a uh, senior officer from the Transit Authority is uh, hoping to meet me for some more training. Oh, you gonna be a transit fellow? Yes, I just started yesterday. Train? Oh, okay. You, yeah. Uh, ain't been around long, or have you? No, I'm still very, very new to this fine country of yours. Yep. It's yep. It is a fine country. Yep. Well, uh. I'm a dirty outlaw, so we can't be friends. I'm sorry. What? 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 Huh? What do you What do you mean? I uh, rob banks and stuff. Oh. And yeah, I don't think y'all are allowed to be friends with uh, us evil fellas. Well, you You helped me from the the cat attack. I wouldn't call you evil. <laughs> well, this that's a perspective, ain't it? Because I I think this here kitty would would not be uh agreeing with you anymore. Oh, I suppose not. Soft. <laughs> oh, you gotta get to your transit, huh? I better better go at a bit of a steady pace, and I better keep a, a better eye um, out. Did for... you see a, did, did any locals spot you? Uh, no. No, it all happened so fast. I don't think there was time for anyone to see. Alright. Sometimes I like to send in a tip to rangers and stuff if, so they ain't looking for you, but uh, if uh, if no locals spotted you, I, I won't worry about it. No, you, you were the first one to cross my path. I'm very thankful for that. Sure, sure. Um, wh where's the transit meeting? Uh, I'm heading to uh, Armadillo and Benedict Point. Benedict Point, all right. I'm going to go sell this cougar to the um, butcher in the regular. Oh, I'll enjoy. Thank you very much, Mr. Deke. Yep, nice to meet you, and uh, have fun with the trains, all right? Thank you. And, uh, yeah, this is a bad spot. Kidding, so be Farewell. I there's bears and stuff, so. Yeah, I better be uh, Lots of Lots of learning out here. <laughs> what? I don't think we're allowed to be friends. What? Oh, no! What a day. <laughs> oh, what now? 
What now? Is that a bear? Bruh. What? What now? There was another cat. Oh, heavens. Hell's bells. I'm just trying to get to Armadillo. Oh my... I picked the worst time to heat up some pizza. The animals are out in force. Albert Groves would be like, I'm going back to England. I've had enough. I've had enough of it. <laughs> this is a nightmare. Hell in a hand basket. He'll rock up to the the training, like ripped clothes, bleeding everywhere, like, hello, I'm here to learn how to drive the train. You're like, alright, oh, okay. Yeah, old uh, old dome is gonna apply. Definitely do it sooner rather than later. Because it can take a few weeks. That'll be insane. <laughs> like, later I just come across like, Oh, this is the new mayor, Richard Dome. I'll be like, oh my god. <laughs> Richard Dome rides again. How are you finding Sea of Thieves lately, Dome? Still enjoying it? You winning? By the time we get out there, this person will be done with training around. Please don't attack me. No, I don't want I do not want to jump to his horse. 
I just want to get to Armadillo and find the train. Oh yeah? You going next, are you? You're in line. <laughs> is he is he sleeping overnight to get Metallica tickets? Be first in line. <laughs> So this was about 15 minutes ago. Uh, went around to McFarlane Ranch, and then we'll go back to Armadillo, another loop around Tumbleweed. So they're around. They're around here somewhere. God, no idea. So what they said, they'd go back by McFarlane, loop back around. And then head around Tumbleweed. Where would they be by now, do you think? Sorry, uh...
Uh, where's the train schedule here? Oh, it's right, right here. Oh, is it this? I'm just not sure if it's still on its way down to, um, just not sure which way it's going. I just, I don't know. I don't know where this train is, eh? <laughs> Hope there's no trouble. Do, 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 do.
Oh, the train! The train! The train! Seems there's a more lights positioned around. We found the train. We found the train. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Miss Worth, I presume? Oh, yes, so you must be Mr. Gross. Uh, yes. Well, so it's a pleasure to, to meet you in person. You... Ha have we met before? No, sir. My name is uh, Celia Worth. I work for the Transit Authority. I do get mistaken sometimes for different person, but I can assure you we have never met before. You and, uh, I, my head really hurts. I've, I've, oh, I'm sorry, uh, I, okay? no, 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 it's not your fault. I've, I've been punched many times in the face today and scratched up by a big kitty cat. So I'm, I'm just, oh. I'm just a little, oh I'm, dear, I'm, I'm so sorry. So I don't know how useful I'm going to be. I'm happy to watch and learn, but I just, Yes, I'm not in, not at a hundred percent, if that makes sense. Oh, oh, I understand completely. Well, what we can do is, um, you don't have to do anything. Um, I'll just tell you, uh, and good tips and tricks I use, and I'll show you what I do, and uh, all that. And you can just, if you have any questions, you can be afraid to ask me. Is that okay with you? That's, that sounds amazing. You, you don't have a, a, a cousin or a sister or... Someone that lives in Valentine, do you? Um, no sir, no sir. Right. No, no, I, I must be imagining <laughs> things. No. Oh. Yes. All right. I do apologize for the confusion. Where would you like me to sit? Oh, um, if you'd like to uh, come up to the front here, yeah, that's where I'll be conducting the train. <laughs> and, uh, yes. Um, we did have some passengers on board here, but I believe they might be helping off here. So it might just be the two of us. No we'll worries. Of the journey. Let me just try and get up without falling over. Yes. I'll just be sending a quick telegram and I'll be right with you. No worries. <laughs> it's, the, it's, it's the player. It's the it's the, it's the player that plays the 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 master bather at the Valentine bathhouse. That's her. <laughs> That's her. It's a, if it's a very similar voice. That's the Master Bather player from that we met yesterday. So you can imagine my in-game and out-of-character confusion when she's like rocks up on the train. Like, what? How many times did Gross get punched in the face today? Here's, here's the Master Bather. It's cute, isn't it, Gazozo? But this is the Master Bather. It's if it's not the same character, it's the same player. That's her. It's her. <laughs> so funny. It's not going to be hard for me to role play Groves being like, huh? Uh, what? Final call for passenger train service to Benedict Point. Next stop, Benedict Point. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, 
as long as I'm at all, I'll just build two of us. That's okay. We'll That's right. We'll probably okay. find more people in the desert. Oh boy, take away. Choo choo. <laughs> I'm dying, man. <laughs> choo choo. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> so, normally, what I like to do here is um, once the train is moving, uh, I keep an eye on the, uh, the caboose. And once the caboose has uh, cleared the, um, the train station, that's when I'll get L2 to speed up the train to a uh, fast speed. Oh, yes, makes sense. I should be right about here. Yep, yep. <laughs> and the others told me that only staff is allowed in the caboose. Yeah, so that's right. Yeah, yeah it's only for staff, and of course, if there's any medical emergencies, it's a place to get medics and also close a lot of personnel. Nah, makes sense. It is. And you know standing on top of the uh what do you call the the one with the coal in it? Oh yes, the coal, the coal. Pardon? Uh, the, uh, the, the coal? The coal car? It, it does it have a fancy name? Or is it just coal car? It's just coal car, but oh. it might be You're all right. I just, you know, my, yeah, my, I'm, I'm probably mixing up everything. My head still is hurting, and my pipe is just not helping at all. Oh, oh dear! I'm oh, so sorry. Um, just uh, so nobody else would like to tell uh, passengers to uh, stay uh, behind uh, these, uh, these uh, bars here. Oh, you yeah, the. the... The hook things. Yes, the hook thing is this. Um, that's the best place for, oh, the engineer to see us. So, we you just see it? Hello! Oh, that's the best place for the engineer to Hello! Do you think they wanted to ride? Perhaps. We're gonna get robbed. <laughs> is this gonna be me? Oh, no, thank you, Bango. It's all good. It's just gonna be me like Whoa. Okay, I'll I'm good. Yeah, sometimes people do like to just come up and just still wait close. One so one minute, miss, I just I I feel like I may have got some sand stuck in my ear. I'll just be one minute. Can I turn down the sound effects a little? Is that is that something I can do? Will that turn down like all the sound? Like what if I do that? Can I hear her better now? There we go, I hope I can hear a bit better now. Oh, yes. So uh, how yes, long uh, have you been working with the Transit Authority, Miss Worth? Uh, for over a year, since August uh, last year. Oh, goodness. That's that's quite a while. I imagine you've got a, a thing or two to te th a thing or two to teach. That's actually, I must admit, I've never um, done any training myself with training before so this is all the experience to me so much apologize if I'm a little um unsure but I do hope that I can help you as much as I can. Oh don't you worry. I, I the, the training I received from uh, Mr. Flood and Mr. O'Kelly and Mr. Bobby yesterday was seemed top notch to me but they, I don't have anything to base it off so th there's no expectations oh. from me. I'm just I'm just happy to be here. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. I do appreciate that. So, yeah, I was um, I was really not expecting weather like this out in the desert. No, it's, it's just a kind of unusual, I must say. This so, is a... did, did, I, uh, did I teach you much about uh, the 
conducting other tribes and stuff? Well, uh, yesterday, uh, Mr. Bobby had me, uh, uh, he had me writing down the names of new passengers on the train. Um, he had me doing the, uh, where you, uh, you yell out, you know, uh, dr uh, Saints Crossing Transit Authority leaving this station heading to such and such and so on and so Ooh. forth. Yes, that, that was very enjoyable. And then uh, uh, Mr. O'Kelly uh, gave me a walk through up and down the train, sort of from his perspective as a security. Um, and then it was really just a lot of just, just tagging along and taking it in. Oh, very good, very good. Uh, I must also clarify, actually, uh, there are some uh, transit officers uh, like myself who. Um, Hold on one second. Oh, stop the train! Um, so there are some uh, transit officers like myself who uh, don't really do the security part of the work, which is perfectly fine. You know, I just do the conducting, sometimes driving off the trains and wagons and the boats and so on. So, um, you know, if, if you feel like security work is not, not your for day, that's perfectly fine as well. Oh, yes. Well, I told them yesterday I'm happy to give everything a go, find what I'm best at, but yeah, no no preference from me yet. I'm just I'm just happy to be learning. Oh wonderful. Um Oh yes, actually maybe a good thing to show you would be where to get the coal because we do have coal at every station if need be. Oh yes, Mr. Bobby showed me a little bit. He said that uh he would get uh, a coal bag and uh, he'd fill it with about sixty pieces. Um, so, uh, I have, I have filled it up completely, so we won't need to refill, um, but I'll show you where to find it at this station, because sometimes, uh, not everyone knows where it is. And, uh, which station are we at now? Oh, this is, uh, Benedict Point. Ah, this is Benedict, right. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, so here we are, uh, so you just go right up here, and uh, you can cl collect a call. Ah, oh, so, yes. Uh, the very special thing about this call is that it's refined, so um, it's only for use uh, for the trains. Right. Yeah, I did a bit of coal mining uh, up at Ansberg the other week, and uh, no idea what I was doing. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, uh, it's lucky that we don't have to do that ourselves. We just uh, come collect it right here. <laughs> and it, it must go in the coal bag? Um, yes, but... Sometimes, uh, if you do have some difficulty, you can just grab a handful and then, um, you can, uh, grab the, uh, the coal back afterwards and just, uh, stick it in there. So it's up to you, whatever you're comfortable with. Oh, yes. I just, yeah, but um, just some people worried about me getting my white shirt all dirty. Oh, yes. Um, so... I'm not sure things have changed, but uh, normally what we do as well is once we've arrived at a station, uh, we send a, a check-in telegram to Law just to say we've arrived and where we're going to next, so we do that as well. Oh, yes. Um, so I'll make use of something called telegraph style, but it's entirely up to you what you want to do. A uh, light telecom has been set, and what I also like to do is just double check our tip line to see if there's anything. Uh, it's just through here. Oh, yes. Yeah, so, so, here's our tip line right here in the corner. Let me just have a quick look here. Oh, looking good, no updates on the one, so we're good to go. Onwards. Onwards. <laughs> Love it.
And unfortunately, no passengers. That's a shame. Yeah, that's a shame. That, that, that is the only downside about the Western Line is we don't often get many passengers, so it can be a little um, well, lonely sometimes, but uh, it's oh. okay if you want to just, you know, enjoy the train ride. Oh, yes. I'll definitely never get tired of that. It really does. I do love the views out here. It's a very... Very different uh, landscape to the one I'm used to back in England. It was, I don't think there's anywhere quite like this there. Oh gosh, that's a charming magic. Everything over there is very green and then very, it's very rainy. Right. I would like to visit that place some, someday. Um, that's where my, uh, my father is especially from, but uh, I was born uh, here in the question. Oh, you were born here? Yes, sir. Born in Valentine. Ah, yes. Although, again, um, I'm only very nice with my dad, of course, but he's not been seen in a long time, so it's just you. And you've never, not you've never was... gone on holiday anywhere else? Uh, no, sir. The only place I've been to is a uh, boarding school in Vermont. <laughs> oh, you went to a boarding school. How was that? Uh, I was terribly lonely because I was all alone and I didn't you... really have my own many friends and I only really missed my daddy. Oh, I'm... why didn't you have any with the other with the other with the other children mean? Why didn't you have any friends? I think perhaps it's a full fault of me because I am terribly shy, I must admit. Oh yes, yeah, no, that's uh, that's alright. Yeah, I've met my fair share of shy people, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with being a bit oh. reserved. It's not for everyone, though, which is a, which is a pity. That's, that's a shame. That's right, but uh, you, you would have, when you returned from boarding school, you would have made loads of friends around the crossing here, yes? Um, well, um, slowly, very, very slowly. It's a work in progress. Yes, it's a work in progress. Oh, well, I've been very, very happy to to learn that all the uh, everyone I've met uh, in the through the transit authority has been very nice. So I'm very, I'm very yes. thankful for that. Yes, I do. I do love all my colleagues. So wonderful people, and I do love working together with them. It's, it's really so much fun when we have the you know, many of us working together. Yes, I definitely got a sense of just how how exciting it can be when you've got the whole the whole team. Do, uh, you know, doing their various roles to make sure the locomotive is tip top. Yeah, absolutely. The next stop is a uh, tumbleweed, isn't it? Um. Well, unfortunately, uh, we don't have an official stop in tumbleweed. Uh, but I can show you what I normally stop if people do ask uh, to get off here. Oh. Oh, right. So tumbleweed's yes, more of a matter of people getting off than rather than getting on. Yes. Yeah, we don't have a, a built uh, station as such. Um, but there's a place, so uh, uh, yeah, so shall we go almost there. Oh, I see. Uh, would you like an apple? Oh, um, oh, no thank you. I've, I've, I've had many, many peaches, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes, here it is. Uh, uh, so right here. Oh, yes, I see. Across so from, from that so big right house. Here. Yes. So just if you know, if anyone uh, does board the train and uh, they ask, Oh, can you please get over Tumbleweed? This is uh, the best place to, to stop, I would say. Oh, yes, and then they can walk up the road there. Oh, yeah, it makes sense. Yes. Oh, very good. Uh, 
Oh, something else to be aware about the Western line as well. Uh, something uh, to be aware of once you uh, light touch the, the uh, switches. Um, so the switches for when you know your your. It depends on which direction the train goes. You know, it might go left, it might go right, uh, depending on how the switch has been set up. Oh yes, yeah. They told me there's a lot of communication involved in letting them know ahead of time so that they can change it if need be and planning the route yes. accordingly. Or, or as a <laughs> Mr. Flood would put it, it sometimes may require you to uh, beat the shit out of it with a hammer. Yes, yes, I, I have had to do that so many times in this western line, but I finally figured out a technique uh, to hopefully avoid that as much as possible. And then uh, I remember so they also said that there's only ever uh, one train per line, the western east, at yes, any given time. Yes, absolutely. So, uh, for example, if there's a train on the eastern line, and again, you should be fine to take a train out here, um, but it can be a little uh, strange at the moment, so the moment you do the fight, you can only, only keep one train out here. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, it could be, otherwise, there could be an accident. Yes. So yes, yeah, so the switches out here at Cathal, so normally what I do is I tell them ahead of time when I take the train out from the depot at 5. I tell them I had to uh, change switches 10, 11, and 13, and that should be good to go, so... Then, once the train is done one loop, the, the switches, uh, they do come out of alignment sometimes. Oh. So what you might have to do is, once it's on the loop and you're back at McFarlane, if you do intend to do one more loop, I would tell them I had just to double check the switches and just uh, ask them to change them again. Right. Oh, goodness. I, yeah, they didn't mention that yesterday, that they could uh, misalign. Um, yeah, it, I have noticed it only happens on the western line, so the eastern line is perfectly fine. Um... But yes, that's normally what I do, so uh, I normally have a uh, see. Okay, so it's the ones at McFarlane Land, so I have them all on a right turn. Um, so what you do is just, you just still get them to change it to left and then back to right again, just so that it's kind of, you know, jiggled back into place. Oh, yes, I imagine all the. All the sand and the dust and that probably interferes. Yeah, I wonder if that is what's causing it. It is quite peaceful out here. It's quite... It's definitely... It's definitely refreshing from the day I've had. Oh, gosh. You mentioned about... Uh, account. Yes, I was writing from, um... Uh, Valentine down to Armadillo and I was passing a ranch and then this I was thinking about food you see I was wasn't really paying attention and then this big cat pounced and knocked me off my horse and gave me a bit of a, a bit of a scratch up and uh, it was very terrifying but I was very lucky this uh, young gentleman an outlaw he described himself as came by and he he helped me back on my feet oh my goodness that would, that would, um, it's a, yeah, I, I usually, my face is not usually so, uh, scratched and bruised up. It's just, I also, um, I was also punched out by, uh, the chicken man at the Emerald Ranch. Uh, he was very protective of the chickens. And then I was also in a, uh, fist fight with a couple of, uh, uh ruffians outside Valentine. It's, it's been a day. Oh dear, I'm so sorry. That really does sound like it's been a day. It's all right. Thank you. Uh, fortunately, the kindness of strangers and the excellent working medical staff have uh, made sure I'm all right. Well, that's that's great to hear. Oh, dome. Yeah, if it's um if it's relevant, yeah, definitely feel free to. Mention me if you'd like. Uh, 
Now, I did see... I, I was actually surprised to see that uh, not anyone boarded the train um, at Armadillo. There was quite a few people in the saloon, but it seemed they were sitting down to listen to some guitar. Um, oh. But... Uh, Mr. Flood mentioned uh, we, we passed through on Wagon yesterday and he, he commented that just about everyone we saw in Armadillo was an, an outlaw. Is this true? Oh, gosh. Well, I'm not so, much, I'm not so familiar with uh, who and who isn't an outlaw, but I do believe that it, that is indeed the norm of the most outlaws do tend to, to be out here. Oh. Right. Well, yes. Uh, if we run into any trouble, I I just bought a revolver today with eight bullets. Oh yes, very good. And so far, all I've shot at is um a sign. Oh. But I I, I hit it a few times. Uh, Mr. Flood said I was a pretty good natural shot. I must admit, I'm not so confident with guns myself, but I used to carry one, but I feel like I've had too many accidents with them. I'm so clumsy. I don't blame you. I've, but before I moved here, I've never, never touched one before in my life. Got a bad feeling about this. It's like, I'll imagine this. Oh, yes. uh, that's something I'm going to do as well. And so, when we are approaching the town, I do like to uh, get all to slow down the train just a little bit um, as we approach him. Oh, yes, it would be, yeah, it'd be a very a horrible situation if someone happened to be out on the tracks or something. We're going. Full, full speed. Yes. Yes, I must have omitted. Uh, it's been a, a sort of your uh, um, has been a few incidents where people they do get quite excited and distracted when they see the train, and they might be so silly as to ride right up to it and crash into the train. Oh God! So. Um, sometimes I do feel obliged if I do see somebody riding like that, I will just ask Earl to stop the train completely. Oh god, I... That would be terrifying. There's no one here! Oh, that's a uh, shame. That's a shame, but I'm thinking, uh, what we'll do is, uh, I'll show you where, uh, we can depot the train at McFarlane. Um, at least, at least where I was told to do it. And, uh, yeah, we can call it a day. Unless you have any questions, anything else you'd like to go over? Oh, no, no, I'm just, uh, just taking it all in at this stage. Oh, right. Oh, actually, uh, I show you, if you look over by the water tower over there, um, that's where the coal is as well, just at the uh, bottom of it. Oh, the coal? <laughs> yes. Oh, yes, right. That's by the water tower. Yes. Right, yep. I just uh, send a quick telegram to Lord just to let know that we'll be finishing, and uh, that's what I do to the uh, transit tip line as well, uh, just to say that we'll be finishing up. And, uh, Sounds so good to me. To All right. Oh, right. On the road again. Ah, uh, well, here on the west line, Lou, they've just got 
Um, she didn't mention anything about Mercer Station. We just stopped at Benedict. She said there's a spot to drop people off at Tumbleweed, but it's not really official. Uh, it seems to, for the West Line, it says Benedict Point, Armadillo, and uh, McFarlane Ranch, I think. Um, so, yeah, I don't think there's any more. Alrighty. All good to go. Good to go. I will take away choo choo. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> so good. <laughs> so we're, we're heading around to McFarlane Ranch now, are we? Yes, yes. Um, I show you where uh, I'll be deep on the train. It's just before we come to uh, McFarlane Ranch. Ah, yes. Oh, very good. Woo! Oh, my goodness. What a day. What a day. Oh, actually, um, do you have access to the clipboard at all, or is that still something that is still to be done? Uh, uh, no, there was no mention of the clipboard yet. Oh, okay, I'm just... Yeah, I'm trying to remember how the, uh, train is meant to be, um... Because... Gosh, I could mention the clipboard, but it's... I think it would seem maybe too abstract to you if you didn't have it uh, at hand, so to speak. Um, but normally what we do is once we've uh, uh, sent the way uh, the train to the depot, you know, we, uh, we do like to keep a log of, uh, of uh, the, the train that we've done. Mm -hmm. Or we just put the date and t uh, the time that we started and the time that we finished. Uh, we put uh, what type of transport it was, so uh, for example this one is the Western train, the Choo Choo Lagoon. So we put Choo Choo Lagoon, uh, Western Line. Choo Choo Lagoon. And uh, then we also put the name and whoever else was so uh, on board in terms of uh, transit. Right, well it's good to keep a record of things. <laughs> yes. And what was, what was the uh, name of the train? Oh, this is the uh, Choo Choo Lagoon. Choo Choo Lagoon. <laughs> <laughs> it's a yes. magic name. Yes, I love this. <laughs> this is my favorite trick. Choo choo lagoon! We've also got, um, I guess there's a small version of this one with uh, just one flatbed uh, here and then one car and then one flatbed, which is called the Little Olive. Oh, it is? Oh, there's a tunnel coming out. How exciting. Oh, yes. Oh yeah, so for, for tunnels, uh, we do recommend if, uh, you know, just for your comfort because uh, the cold and uh, the smoke and everything can get quite overwhelming, so uh, uh. you do have a bandana at hand uh, and you just pull it over your nose and mouth just to, uh, to help. But yes. it's of course... Uh, yes, yeah, some people are very too. smart about that. I was, uh, yesterday I was speaking to the, the wonderful staff at the, uh, the Valentine bathhouse a couple of staff there and they they were asking they were very interested in uh my involvement with the transit authority and they're asking you know what are you going to do if uh, there's lots of bugs flying at you or or uh, smoke and whatnot and i and i sort of said well i i personally not thought about it so they recommended that potentially after each shift on the train that i go around there to get a to get a bath to make sure that not only i'm clean but also my clothes free of Sweat and smoke and bugs. Oh yes, absolutely. I can get a little bit too much sometimes, especially. I mean, I, I do have a few uniforms myself, but it's such a pain having to clean up myself. <laughs> yeah, I think I might have yes. to get one of those handkerchiefs myself to go in my mouth. It's not a lot of air in here. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, the pipe might help. <laughs> Yeah. 
So that's why there was... That's why that... That bathhouse worker wasn't there today. Because she's playing as a train character. It's all coming. It's all making sense now. Fighting smoke with more smoke. Okay, it's like fight, so fight, fight. Um, I saw down, so I can turn away to keep up. Oh yeah. Um, so yes, normal way to it is uh, just get off here and just double check. There's uh, no passengers on board. So, oh yes. Um, we do like to do a little. Uh, I check um, because I have found actually sometimes people do like to hide either in a caboose or sometimes even on the roof. Well, I hope there's not someone waiting to jump out. Yes, it has happened to me a couple of times where somebody's jumped out from beneath the sea, so they jumped out off the roof. So definitely something to, uh, to keep an eye on. Well, that'd be awfully frightening. Yes, it was quite a terrible flight, I must say. I'll show you the the bit where they usually hide. So it's uh, use, the use of ladder here. Oh yes. And then sometimes they'll they'll be hiding them right here. This is a very good hiding spot. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, yes. you get low enough to be obscured. Yeah, so definitely something to to keep in mind about the cabooses. Yes, uh, some people do use that. Yes, I think we're clear and to go. Uh, so what I do here is I just uh, signal the depot manager and they'll get a shunter to move the train to the depot. Right. Very good. Oh! <laughs> and there it goes. Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> easy peasy. I do believe my horse should be here somewhere. Marshmallow! There she is. Uh, do you need to ride anywhere? Oh no, you got your horse too. Perfect. Yes, uh, Growler is never too far away. <laughs> oh, I'll show you where the uh, the Corbins are for McFarlane Watch as well. Oh, yes, yeah, sounds good. No, her horse is called Marshmallow. <laughs> Love it. It's so funny. Look out! Look out! Hey! Ah, oh, yes. Oh, yeah, I see the shovel. Yes. Um, so yeah, this is normally where, uh, when I start in the western line. Um, so I take the train out from the depot over there, and I'll take the train here and do a big loop around and um, all around Tamadillo and Tamadillo. Ah, oh, very good. Splendid. Um, so what I normally do as well is, uh, this is not a good place to do your paperwork. Um, so I either go to, uh, Blackwater or Amadillo and, uh, finish up my paperwork for the day. Oh, yes, yeah, makes sense. Oh, very good. Well, th thank you very much for, sorry I couldn't be here earlier, but thank you very much for showing me another thing or two with the work. Oh, so yes, it's been a pleasure to meet you and, um, I do hope to, uh, to work with you again in the future. Yes, if if yeah, if I should be around um, uh, next weekend for more for more work, uh, happy, to, very keen to keep learning and do my part. Oh, wonderful, wonderful! Like, well, the best of luck to you and um, have a great day. Thank you, Miss Worth. See you next time. 
Ciao, ciao. Cheerio! Shame we didn't have time to do more training, but you know, every little bit helps, right? Learning how each person does it, everyone will have like a different way of explaining it. A little everyone will have a little their own little tips and tricks. Um Yeah. Um Well, I suppose we'll head We'll head back to civilization. We'll head to Blackwater, and hopefully I don't get, um... mauled by a kitty cat on the way. Oh, a very, um... <laughs> a very good, um... A very good session. My goodness, a lot has happened today. Um, that has definitely kept me... That is definitely... It has kept me on my toes. Um, it's been good. <laughs> it's been very fun. Oh my god. Oh my good... Whoa! Shit! Oh my goodness, sir! Are you alright? I'm terribly sorry, old chap. Are you alright? Sorry about that. Pardon, I can't hear you. Pardon? What? Oh, I'm all right. It's all about that. It's all about that. No, no, I was, I was daydreaming. So I, I do apologize. But I'm glad you're all right. Yeah, we were both daydreaming. I think. <laughs> oh, all right. No harm done. No, no, I'm good. Sorry about that. I bet you be on your way, sir. Thank you for checking on me. Absolutely. Worse than worse. Oh. Have a good day. Phew. Oops. Oopsie daisy. It's like just it's what I need. I'll like I'll run into someone else and I'll get knocked out and be like waiting for a doctor or something again. So what, we got punched out by a criminal, punched out by the chicken man, mauled by a cat. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, they were, they totally were. It's, um, it's that, that ride out to Armadillo. It's like, it's, like, I'm always like, oh, I'll quickly look at my phone or something. <laughs> it's like, sometimes it's just nothing happens on the way. <laughs> Like, like, hopefully someone's saying something in chat or so, or I'll, like, quickly check my emails. <laughs> Don't text and drive, kids. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Um, trying to think what's next. Like, I wonder if we're going to hear anything more about those two criminals in Valentine. I wonder if we'll come across... What was his name? Drew Peters. I wonder if we'll come across him again. He was so intense, man. Holy shit. Holy shit. That was so fucking funny. Like, I don't know if we'll come across him again. Um, but yeah, hopefully um, do more training um, <laughs> soon. So, so what's coming up? Um, uh, I don't know... Like, I might do some, like, more Space Marine 2 or Helldivers 2 during the week. It's so... I, like, I'm like, how do I word this? Train training? I love train training. I love training the train. Train training, train, 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 train. I love trains. I like trains. Um, so I'll probably do maybe, like, yeah, some more Space Marine 2. Maybe some Helldivers 2 during the week. Um, uh, and then it's looking like I'm free next weekend. Where I'll be doing the day streams again. Um, I don't think I've got anything on. Um, I've just been playing more Dead Rising offline. Um, gotta find another, like, old game to play. The Imperial Theater. I gotta, 
I'm sure I think there's like another old game I've been wanting to replay. But um, that's generally the That's the old that's the general no. It's the general plan. Um it's just annoying. Yeah, Space Marine Battle Team. It's just annoying because like I tried to do some crossplay the other night, and it's just it's being it's being very naughty at the moment. It's just um it's being a bit you get like stuck on joining server. But I was able to um, party out with my dad last night, but we're both on Xbox. He was, I was trying to party out with someone on um, PC the other night and it just, it was, um, yeah, like the game has been fantastic. It's just, they need to just get a patch out, fix this networking issue and it'll be back right as rain. It's just been, it's been a little frustrating, I'll admit. It's a great game. It's a well-made game. It's good. All right. Good sesh.